Bonnie back. Bitch, I'm back in my bonnet. <laughs> Let me get up in the chat. I had a download before um before I pushed a uh, go live. I kept hearing so so um Sai I read a kid sex slave. So for some of y'all, this person wants to be your sex slave, okay? Hey everybody. Hey my babies. I love y'all. Glad to see y'all in the chat. Okay. I kept hearing that sex, slave, sex, and then it's a part in the uh, in the song where she was like, "Oh, daddy, I love you, I love you. Oh, daddy, I love you, I love, I love you." <laughs> Somebody about to be saying that shit. Oh, daddy, I love you, I love you. production okay love just pleasure enjoyment fulfillment today yes don't forget to hit up hit the like button but yeah somebody definitely want to be your sex slave um this person wants you to tell people that um you belong to them i feel like they feel like you living too single i just heard we are living hey single <laughs> This person feel like you living a little bit too single, baby. Okay? Because they like shit and they want you. They been wanting you for a long time. They just now getting up the courage or the strength to like be like, yeah, I want to make it official with you type energy. Like on a high level serious commitment energy. Okay? Oh, thank you, Phoebe. I appreciate you. Look at me sliving a little bit. Look, this person want to be your sex slave. They mouth watering over your ass. I just seen that little uh, emoji with the the slobber coming out of his mouth. That's that's how your person feel about you. That emoji right there. If you got an iPhone, I mean, they all got emojis now, though. But something about an iPhone user. So you could be an iPhone user. You may not have an Android, okay? <laughs> But it's something about that emoji with the, you know, the drooling face. Yeah, this person drools over you. Hey, my babies. Yes, 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 yes. But yeah, y'all, I had a, and then I had a hater in the comments in the community board talking about, oh, I felt the same way. I too used to watch every live and now I don't watch them anymore because you, you like, shut the fuck up. Nobody cares, you fucking dweebs. Y'all, it, it's a lot of dweeb energy on this peasant energy in this motherfucker. Like, YouTube got a lot of motherfucking peasants on this motherfucker. Like, you never really realize how many peasants is on this motherfucker until you start exuding your life. Then here they motherfucking moth dry asses come and shit. Flaky ass motherfuckers. Just, ugh, nasty and shit. Here they come trying to destroy somebody else's life. Oh my God, you laugh too much. Bitch, you don't laugh enough. How about that? Maybe that's why you ain't happy now. Maybe that's why your nigga left. Maybe that's why your bitch left. Where your bitch at? Money bag yo for you bitch ass niggas. Where your bitch at? Bet you don't know. I bet you don't know. Go figure that out. But we gonna laugh. We gonna kick it over here. And no, we not gonna laugh at people's pain. But we are gonna laugh at the consequences. Because motherfuckers be knowing what they doing when they do it. They just don't be expecting karma behind that shit. So, yeah, bitch, I'm a laugh. I'm a joke. And like I said, my spirit team, my ancestors, they gonna talk they shit. They jokesters. Like, it's in my blood. It's in me not only. So, if you don't like who I am as a person, you can definitely fucking kick rocks. Matter of fact, swallow bleach for all I give a fuck. To be honest. And I know I don't have to address this shit. But these motherfuckers obviously feel like they got control on shit and y'all don't run shit but but your fingers that help you type it out and your own motherfucking abilities 
As far as like free will and shit. You run you, bitch. You don't run me. God tell me what to do. Nobody on this earth tells me what to do. Like, come on, let's get off of that. Grow the fuck up. We're gonna laugh. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna grow, we're gonna heal, and we gonna we gonna look damn good doing it. Shit. That's why you motherfuckers look old as shit. Y'all don't laugh. One, two, three viewers in the chat. Confirmation. You motherfuckers don't laugh. And if and and and, and really, if you really wanna be technical motherfuckers, the most high made us in his image. So if you don't have humor, bitch, what do they say about you? If the most high made us in his image, and God definitely has a sense of humor, what that make you? A demon, bitch. Go, go find your tribe. This ain't it. Okay. <laughs> we only on demon time for the right shit. Y'all motherfuckers out here doing the devil's job. Seeking out who you can, who, whom you can steal, kill, and destroy. And bitch, it ain't me. Go play with somebody else. Go play with your mama. Don't play with me. I ain't got to put up with none of y'all shit. Nobody on this platform. Your best bet, if you ever gun for Moon Goddess 2211 on this motherfucker, your best bet is go play with your motherfucking mama. They the only ones that are, in some cases, obligated to show you some grace. I don't have to do shit. I just to choose to operate in high vibrations. That's why you hoes don't understand me. And that's cool. You feel me? Nah, I'm going to talk my shit. That's the thing, though, y'all. That's the thing about divine beings. That's why these motherfuckers talk so much shit. Because, like you said, Phoebe, girl, don't even address them. They got the audacity to watch. That's true, but they need to know that I see they bitch ass. These motherfuckers ain't used to being put in their place. They been wreaking havoc and running fucking wild. You better motherfucking three, think twice, three times before you come over here trying to motherfucking play. I know what I do and don't have to do, but fuck them folks. Fuck them. I'm going to pop my shit just like they had the same motherfucking courage and strength. And, 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 and whatever clarity they thought they was going to have posting that bullshit under my videos. They didn't have to post that. She could have kept it to herself. So, same rules fucking apply. The fuck? Everybody want to hold divine beings to a certain standard. But when it comes to defending ourselves, we supposed to shut the fuck up and, and just be quiet and take it. No, fuck that. You can turn the other cheek and put a motherfucker in their place. God didn't say turn the other cheek and don't defend yourself. That's not what he said. Stand your ground, but don't pull that sword unless you absolutely have to. That's what he mean by turn the other cheek. Not be nobody's fool, doormat, punk, or none of that shit. Stand in your power and authority and know who the fuck you are. And then if it's time to take action, then you know God got your back. So you know you you a whole savage on a spiritual level. And maybe even physical too. But I'm tired of that fucking narrative about us divine beings. We ain't supposed to address shit. Yeah, it's low vibrational. But bitch, I'm, I'm going to show you how, how low vibrational I could be with you. I could end you, bitch. But I, I don't want to. That's not, that's not my place. But you will get checked crossing that gun line. Motherfuckers don't be thinking about shit. They just think they overstep their boundaries too much on this motherfucking platform. And I'm just not the motherfucker for it. Box or no box. Karmic, no karmic. Quote, unquote, divine feminine, divine masculine, because everybody claim they divine feminine and divine masculine and everybody ain't that. So somebody got to be out here lying. I don't even give a fuck if they got a platform. But motherfuckers gonna stop, and I don't give a fuck if it start with me. Motherfuckers gonna stop treating us chosen ones like we just some bitch ass. I just a bitch ass nigga. I'm not. The fuck? I got a heart of a warrior, and God gave it to me for that reason. I'm not no, I'm not like everybody else. So, yeah. I know what the fuck I got going on, bro. But, yeah, you going to get checked over here if I feel the need to. Like, bro, I'm not going to keep on 
deleting comments and blocking my, no, I'm about to start making examples of you peasant ass bitches and niggas that think y'all know it all and y'all don't got shit together. Why does laughter even make you feel away, bitch? You should be happy. If you in the same fucking vibrations that I'm picking up on, bitch, you ain't got a reason to feel hit in no way, shape, or form. So if you mad that I'm laughing, bitch, you mad because you hit. And you don't find shit, shit funny about the motherfucking truth that apply to your ass. So miss me with that bullshit. Miss me with that bullshit. I'm gonna wipe me, wipe me down on the bitch. Fuck what y'all talk about. Anyway, back to the energy, the message at hand. Okay, so this person is like telling you, you need to let them motherfuckers know you belong to me. Period, point blank. You you belong to them, and they mind. Y'all may not even be official, but in in they mind. Y'all, y'all together. And some of y'all might say, oh, this motherfucker crazy and shit. But for some of y'all, that motherfucker crazy and shit is your motherfucking divine counterpart. So if your motherfucking divine counterpart crazy and shit, what the fuck does that say about your ass? You crazy and shit. So let's not, let's not even act like that, okay? You may not be as crazy and shit as you used to be, but you still is crazy as shit okay in a good way you mastered that shit so yeah so this person like hey they know it's competition i feel even if they don't see it they feel it they feel people approaching you they feel people interested in you they feel you drawing in and attracting um opportunities in new acquaintances you know you're just attracting and you you are in this high vibrational divine life is a divine masculine or a divine feminine and it's just bringing in this like bulk i said bulk b-u-l-k bulk load of options love romance work <laughs> anything you are seeking and you have been manifesting like it's coming in a bulk order including your person if you want your person so if you are entertaining other options, they want you to drop them motherfuckers. They want you to drop old dude, old girl. And they want you to focus on, focus on me. Baby, can you focus on me? Yeah, yeah. This person wants you to focus on them. <laughs> Maybe you've just been really focused on yourself. I just saw the nine of pentacles. In my third eye. So maybe you just really been focused on yourself. You ain't been worried about nobody else's happiness. And you know. Abundance but your own. And as you should. You feel me? But this person just see you out here in this. Single you know what I'm saying. Nine of Pentacles energy. That like hold the fuck up. <laughs> they doing too much. Not without me you not. I want everybody to know I'm the motherfucker. You coming home to. Going to sleep. You know waking up to. Doing the freaky shit with. They want everybody to know that shit. So yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the fuck. Y'all been doing. But it's working. It's obviously working. I don't know if y'all switched up y'all manifestation um skills i don't know maybe y'all put a little spin on some shit maybe you've been working with your birth chart i heard burning rooms some of y'all burning rooms you know some of y'all are fixated on your uh gifts of visualization and shit so it's just like you and this whole energy of super mastery like you already were at i heard 33 so you are already in ascendant master energy but this is like a level up like goku like, you know, every time we felt like Goku had reached the ultimate level, Super Saiyan, here he come with another motherfucking level. You feel me? So y'all trying to get on that ultra instinct if you're not already there. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe somebody likes anime, okay, or Dragon Ball Z. I know Dragon Ball Z will forever, to me, be the best anime cartoon of all time, okay? I just, that's just period. That's just period for me. But some of y'all could like anime, okay? Or anime is very significant, okay? Cosplay. Somebody may be into cosplay. Or you like to, you know, maybe a makeup artist. You could do um, makeup for like movies or, you know, like the dramatic shit. You could be a makeup artist 
or some something like that. Even if it's not the movies, you could be into like artistry, like makeup, fashion, or like, you know, just like setting the tone for movies, plays, or just, you know, going out. Some of y'all be helping your homegirls get ready. You know, the ones, you know, that need help. Like, you be there to do that. So, some of y'all could be in the fashion or the fashion industry, makeup. Um, real estate. I just heard real estate. Okay, so some, somebody could be in the real estate or this person is looking at real estate. Okay, so somebody could be definitely, um, your person could definitely be looking at a new home for you guys. Yep, I just saw the four of wands in my third eye, in my mind's eye. So this person could definitely be looking for a new home or, you know, they want to talk about moving in together. They want to talk about making this shit a union under one roof, like on some forever. All right, so let's keep going. The number six I got for y'all, I got 222, I have 1122. I have 212. I have 333. I also have 623. Okay? 623. All right. The songs I have for y'all, I have Chris Brown, Catch a Body. <laughs> and I know what Chris Brown was meaning, but I feel like your person mean the other way around. They they would catch a body over you. Okay? Um, that's all I'm going to say. Okay? Then I got Bryce. Somebody, listen. <laughs> oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I almost forgot that download. Um, it's something about a, a full moon and new moon in Gemini. Something about a new moon and a full moon in Gemini. I don't know what significance that plays. For you or in the reading, but I did get full moon and new moon in Gemini. Okay. So full moon and new moon in Gemini. What what are we in now? Does anybody know? Any expert uh, astrologers in the building? Two, two, three, maybe significant. Two, two, three. They gonna catch a body. If you know what a two, two, three is, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. Okay, so y'all gotta be fucking with somebody that may be a little local. Okay, they may have been um in the mafia. Something about like a um Hispanic, like a cholo. Somebody could have been a cholo. Something about a cholo, whatever. I don't. I'm not really familiar with the Hispanic like. Street terms, if you know what I mean, but somebody could have definitely been a part of like uh some shit like on um on my block, okay? They could have been a part of a, like a little Hispanic. Somebody could be from L.A., okay? Somebody could be from L.A. Yep, because I'm picking up on um the Freedom Writers, so somebody definitely could be from L.A., be Hispanic, or be tied in to the you know Hispanic, you know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna say too much, but. Yeah, um, and if it's not that, you know, your person just connected <laughs> like they Wi-Fi. <laughs> okay, they got them connections like the Wi-Fi. Okay, so your person definitely may have put in some work. Okay, if they had a change of lifestyle or they're in the, you know, process of turning their life around, they definitely could have been a little, you know what I'm saying, a little hood nut. You feel me? Little little street gangster and shit. Damn, I done forgot my earrings. I knew something was... Weird. Oh, well, fuck it. I'm still cute. I look good as fuck. Anyway. <laughs> that was so conceited, wasn't it? Like, bitch, shut up. <laughs> Get back to the read. <laughs> Talking about you fine as fuck. <laughs> That's what happened when I be trying to make it to y'all. I'm always forgetting something. But yeah. I didn't even notice till I looked like, oh, you know, how that day was like, please. I'm like, I'm be like, please. <laughs> pussy, what do you say? Pussy rate gonna go sky high. <laughs> okay, so it's something about all about the Benjamins. Okay, all about the Benjamins here. Am I glowing, Blenny? Oh. It's something about the well, it's something about the moon. That's what I picked up. But anyway, yeah. So yeah. Oh yeah, that's another thing. 
Y'all, Quintilly, y'all know I be picking up on his songs, right? He replied to me this morning on YouTube. So that is awesome. I'm like, share my shit, nigga, or tune in, something. <laughs> Go tell your homies and your friends to, to subscribe and shit. <laughs> So yeah, I did. That's that's what's up. And you know, he's affiliated with Eric Bellinger. So I just thought that that was amazing sauce. Okay, he is such a good artist. I love his music. So that was definitely um like a great start to my day. Like, oh shit, look at Quintilly. Talk to me. Okay, because that's the song I definitely got today was um Quintilly Talk to Me. But yeah, so that could be confirmation. Maybe your person may be in, in some type of stardom energy thing. Your person could be in the industry or you are getting ready to like have this like burst of, of fame, stardom or something. You're being recognized here. Okay. Yeah, I know, Erica. You know, I'll be tuned in. <laughs> All right. So, um... I got Chris Brown, Catch a Body. I got Bryson Tiller, I'm Ready For You. I have Quinn Tilly, Talk To Me. I have Skyler and Tone Smith, What's Good. Hey, Deanna. I have Shay Universe, Passenger, Princess, okay? Then I have Samara and Chris Eccles, Candy Rain. I have Black, One Way. I have Kalani, You Can Blame Me. I have Eric Bellinger, Valentine. I feel like this person is going to be a Valentine next year. Or y'all are going to have a Valentine next year. Like, you're not going to be single going into Valentine's Day. Okay? If you celebrate it, even if you don't, it's something significant about Valentine's Day. Okay? February 14th. Then I got, like I said at the beginning, Sai si Ari, the kid, sex slave. Sex. Say, <laughs> yes, daddy, I love you, I love you. You probably gonna be screaming this shit on Valentine's Day. <laughs> this motherfucker trying to set you up and shit. Look, good, good, Usher. Oh, thank you, Simona. May God bless you times 10. Anything you spend, you get it back times 10. Oh, I love you for that. Thank you, baby. But yeah, y'all know Usher, we good, good, but we ain't we we ain't good, but we good, good. So yeah, this person definitely feels like you're the ex that they will never ever like have any animosity. Like there, they love you. Like there is love there. Like even if y'all don't get together, there. This is the type of person like if we ever separate, break up, or go our separate ways. Like if you ever need like. If you ever need somebody, they're, they're going to be there for you. This is somebody who has learned some type of lesson. And, you know, this is someone who feels like you deserve to be cared for, looked out for, like, have your back type energy. So this is definitely someone that is going to have your back. I just got a download. I almost start crying on this motherfucker. <laughs> y'all was sorry. <laughs> Cause I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I just burst out of, I just burst out in tears earlier today when I got home from picking my son up. I just burst out into tears. Like, and it wasn't it wasn't like pain. It was more so like acknowledging like deep rooted feelings like I tried to block out like I feel like when I I walked away from my it was it was a lot that went on between me and my my best friend my, my Gemini that was my best friend at the time that I ended up walking away from because of certain circumstances and I like I just bust out and cried like I don't know if it was just me or I was picking up on the energy but I definitely needed to apologize like I needed to let him know like even if even if I felt like I didn't owe him an apology I felt like I needed to apologize to him anyway because as much as I was hurt 
And he's never really spoke on how he really felt, except for the fact that he was like, he told me like when after I made the decision, he was like, you know, I was kind of like, damn, you know, we'll find our our way back to each other maybe one day. But that's just like the tip of the iceberg. I don't actually, he's never really spoke like how he felt like initially, like not having me around or you know when he got locked up like how he felt towards me when he got locked up and shit because on the real nobody was fucking with me like the mutual friends and acquaintances that we had when he was out and shit it was like everybody kind of like turned on me except for one and he's a gemini too except for one and that's my homeboy or whatever and i shared i shared his uh his youtube on my page but he was the only one that actually like I could trust like and and get information on um my best friend because it was like everybody else was like happy we wasn't communicating we wasn't you know it was almost like it was everybody time to shine to be be me in a sense you know what I'm saying but I felt like I owed him that apology because even though my my best friend is strong as fuck like you feel me my best my best friend is strong as fuck so he'll never really tell me like oh yeah that shit really fucked me up that hurt my soul you know i cried like he'll never do that because he didn't dealt with a lot of pain he he kind of used to it and it's fucked up that he is but i want him to know like bro i apologize if i ever made you feel a way like and it could have been his emotions that i was feeling at the time that drove me to you know apologize to him and let him know like hey I do apologize and I did explain to him why I made the decision but that doesn't mean that he didn't feel hurt or you know what I'm saying or betrayed like I still have to acknowledge feelings that may he may not ever speak on and I want him to know like at least like bro I care you know what I'm saying like I, I don't want you to feel like you know I didn't give a fuck because that's not what it is you feel me like i hurt like a motherfucker i cried so many tears like bro like it was just so fucking crazy and i couldn't reach out to nobody and nobody was saying shit and i like bro it was just so much like that was my nigga like no hus like all that extra shit aside that motherfucker had my back like nobody else like my twin yeah my twin stood 10 toes to a certain extent in certain situations yes he did but my but my 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 best friend my gemini he didn't give a fuck about nothing like he he had my back like through it all so i definitely needed to let him know like hey you know like i, I apologize like sincerely from the bottom of my heart because you set up in that jail cell and you could have assumed anything. You could have came out like, fuck you, bitch. You know what I'm saying? You could have came. He could have came out like, bitch, I don't fuck with you no more. Like, you left me hanging. But that wasn't the case, bro. Like, and that's how I know it was all a part of God's plan for us to re reunite. Because when he came back, it was not with malice. Like, he met me with love right where I was. And I was kind of taken back my damn self by it. Because I was not expecting him to react like that to me. Because I know what had went down. Even though he might have not had known what I went through. Trying to, you know, see if he cool. Or, you know, wondering about him. Trying to get some information on him. And dude that I shared, Kali Kalmany, he the only one that came through. Like, yeah, that, that nigga locked up. I ain't even gonna lie. And half the time, he didn't even know my best friend was locked up you know so it was i could tell like it was some community shit going on and i definitely did didn't get along with his baby mama i don't trust her as far as i could throw her but i wasn't finna you know go in disrespecting shit like that just ain't me you feel me because at the end of the day he still gotta deal with her so i don't want to make shit salty where it don't have to be and plus at the time we were in no communication so i was just like yeah let me play it let me play it fair let me play it cool so, you know, I just had to, and maybe your person feel like they owe you an apology, or maybe that's something y'all need to do to let your person know, like, you ain't holding on to that shit. You feel me? It is what it is. We all, sometimes we have to separate and go on our own solo journey to really find ourselves in that hermit energy. You know, we can't 
always go on journeys together but when it's when it's right and it's time god will bring us together with our person so you know it just it is what it is but yeah i just had to share that with y'all i don't know why but that shit hit me so deep it was like in my chest my stomach like and i had just got out the shower because i went to the gym today and it was like it just hit me all of a sudden i was just like oh my god like i just got to cry like the fuck like so i don't know if y'all picking up on emotions from your person as well or whatever look show the world the real you full moon in aquarius i'm telling you this person is ready to be authentic and let the world know exactly how they feel about you aquarius it's star energy this person has hope and this connection so i mean i really do feel like this is kind of like an unspoken relationship energy though like y'all may have never ever said to each other like yeah we together or yeah we go together or we boyfriend and girlfriend or you know or i want more i want a relationship with you type shit like it's never been that i think y'all friendship is kind of what held this shit together but that's what makes this bond so much stronger is the fact that y'all have a strong foundation here and there is a lot of like non-judgmental energy and i do feel like this person is finding some type of balance as well but they're healing for sure this person is definitely healing look your hard work is paying off new moon and capricorn so definitely this person is you know they fixated on you for sure there is a lot of hidden feelings that is about to be revealed to you first. And, you know, then this person is going to be ready to, you know, let the world know. Like, shit, we on, baby. Shit. You could be an Aquarius or a Capricorn or dealing with these, these signs here that didn't came out. Leave her alone, Davies. This person can't leave you alone. Conclusions are, with, are within reach. Full moon and eclipse. So this person is coming to some type of realization moment in their life here. Like I said, look at this moon here. Okay. So where things were hidden or this person was, you know, they needed some type of clarity or insight. Everything is, is being revealed. It's like God is the perfect time. I feel like this person is mature enough to handle the truth now. Because that could be a big factor too. If your person was immature, they were never going to be ready for the truth that is being revealed and coming to fruition right now okay so yeah this person is on their path their their north node energy this person is in their north node energy ready to be authentically who they are be the person you know and love not the person everybody else wanted this person to be to appease them make them feel comfortable that's not it you could definitely be with a twin flame y'all know i'm a twin flame so i'm gonna pick up on twin flame energy all the fucking time so yeah confidence is your key to success and it says here new moon and leo so leo aquarius capricorn energy here i told you this person solar plexus they're finding that courage this person was insecure in the past or maybe they were insecure in the connection with you maybe it wasn't that they were insecure with themselves but when it came to a relationship with you or romantic feelings with you they were very much so insecure because this person sees you as the star. Yeah. This person sees you as the star. They weren't, excuse me. I keep burping. Excuse me. I guess that's confirmation. But this person saw you as the star. And they weren't ready for those type of deep romantic feelings they weren't ready to bring that to the to the forefront because they saw you and they saw the competition around you and i'm not talking about the competition on their end because they can give a fuck less about the competition they had before you that shit was really just mean meaningless but the competition around you you know the 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 compliments you know um the way people flock to you take to you you know your smile it was a, it was just too much it was like if i see this person as the star i know other people see this person as the star and they weren't ready to step up to the plate like that behind you because they weren't mature enough they weren't ready they just weren't ready they weren't ready then they just were not sorry not sorry i can't even put it no other way or like that's just the cold hard truth they just were not ready then yeah, your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon and Taurus. This person needed to get their shit together. 
for sure, for sure. A new romantic cycle begins new moon in Libra. So, like I said, this person wants to begin anew with you. The energy is gaining momentum, I'm telling you. This person could already be claiming you. And it's just the fact that they want you to say, like, say, like, you know, I got a man. Or, you know, I'm taking. Even if you don't say, like, they name per se. Just let these motherfuckers know you taking. Everybody knows, though. That's the thing. You and this person cannot hide. This connection is known. Even with y'all trying to keep it hidden. Like, <laughs> split. <laughs> they want to see you split. This person missing the fuck out of you. And all they can think about is loving on you, kissing on you, uh, uh, caressing your body, touching your cheek. You know what I'm saying? Kissing you on my little love taps and shit. But yeah, this person is ready. So yeah, this is like a new romantic beginning. Maybe with the same person for some of y'all. Some of y'all, this could be new love with a, a new romantic cycle begins for y'all. So if you know that you're not, well, you don't want your twin or, you know, you let your past person go and you release the baby daddy or whoever the fuck. You doing that, it actually brought and shed some light on a lot of things within you and that you allowed around you, which allowed you to bring balance and healing to your life. So you are manifesting new love, okay? And this is someone who is definitely not going to have a problem like claiming you, letting everybody know. It's like this new love for a lot of y'all, y'all differences and your uniqueness is exactly what this person is looking for. So you're never going to have to worry about being insecure or, you know, wondering if this person is like really into you because you're going to see that shit, okay? Energy is kind of momentum. Hold the fuck up. I promise I just seen a card that didn't belong in this deck. Maybe I'm tripping. Nah, when I usually do that, it usually be in. Okay, well, I ain't gonna trip on it too much. Look, the answers you need are coming. <laughs> the energy is gaining momentum. But I do feel like for some of y'all, this person claiming you. Like, it's just time for you to claim them too. I don't know if they want you to post them. Or tag them in some shit. Maybe you don't have no pictures of this person on your page. <laughs> you be watching my little page. <laughs> okay. And they want some type of like evidence. Like, girl, tag me in some shit. Post me something. And if you a man, vice versa. Like, why you ain't showing me y'all? <laughs> Look, a fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. So, yeah, this person is definitely passionate about you. That, look, bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. Heavy on the Aquarius energy, okay? You could be a North Node, okay? Your, your uh, North Node could be an Aquarius, okay? Or it could be in your birth chart somewhere, okay? Maybe in your Venus. I heard your Venus or, like, your second house or something like that. Yeah, but this person is bringing love into the situation. Baby, they in love with you. Look, the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. Didn't it say the hard work is paying off? So this is only progression here. So you got to acknowledge that your person did put in the work if, if they in this North Node energy. Like, I ain't saying you got to take this person back. Or I ain't even saying you got to be with this person, even if it's new love. But baby, when I say you might be missing out on some of the, on one of the, you know, best relationships of a lifetime that you could experience, bro, like, you might want to reconsider that shit and bring love into the situation because you might really miss your blessing. Some of y'all is your pride that's in the way, not this person. Some of y'all is actually your, your damn pride, to be for real. Honestly, because that's what I just picked up. Green love, look, eight of swords. Some of y'all keeping y'all self stuck, okay? Five of swords, yeah. Self sabotaging. Some of y'all ain't in your own motherfucking way, but I feel like you mirroring this person. I feel like that was this person's past energy. And now they ready to, you know what I'm saying, bring love into the situation and love on you and have a relationship with you and you sabotaging. You thinking.
pessimistic about the shit. So it's like, for some of y'all, this person I'm picking up on, you done, it's reversed, okay? You done reversed roles with this person. Now you second guessing this motherfucker. Like, <laughs> this the motherfucker you wanted. Now you doubting that shit. Like, five of swords. Like, ah, oh, nah, this nigga, uh uh, this shit too good to be true. Don't block your own motherfucking blessings, allowing negativity to flood your mental space, okay? Five of Swords energy. Don't think negatively or you will actually attract this energy into the situation. And you don't want to cause any unnecessary challenges or blockages, okay? within you it's not necessarily outside but for others of y'all hell yeah these hoes is hating they mad they starting drama with this person they trying to fight it's a whole lot of bullshit going on they playing the blame game victimizing themselves gaslighting this person oh how you gonna leave me you not gonna leave me for this bitch bitch how you gonna leave me for that nigga and i pay for this this and that and it's just over it's over, okay? The competition know what's up. Okay? They like, hey, it is what it is. We don't want you to go over there. <laughs> Leave them alone. Like, look, your person like, fuck y'all. <laughs> your person ain't giving a fuck about what they talking about. He gives no fucks. You Bro, I feel like this shit is too much right now, okay? For me, I'm going to say for me. But I know for a fact that's some Gemini shit, okay? So you could be dealing with a Gemini. Thank you, lady, uh, lady line. Thank you. You could definitely be dealing with a Gemini, but this person don't give a fuck about what they talking about. This person literally is quieting the outside noise. Bitch, I don't care. It's like, I don't give a fuck. Eight of cups. Like, it don't serve me no more. I'm cool on you. And these people are trying to convince your person with the five of swords. Black magic. It's not necessarily candles. This is like people using spell work with verbal spell work. You're, you know your prayers are your spells, right? The power of life and death is in the tongue, right? Your manifestations start with what? The tongue, right? Okay. You have to affirm shit. You can set your intentions, yes. But you have to affirm that shit. Speak it into the universe. So, it's just like this person like, I don't give a fuck. Thank you, universe, for freeing me type shit. Like, I don't know. I feel like this person has found some type of spiritual guidance or enlightenment as well. Or pinnacles. This person ain't giving up. They're not. I don't ever feel like they really let you go. At least not the thoughts of you. With this pinnacle in his arm and this pinnacle on top of his head here. I definitely feel like you help keep this person grounded with the four pinnacles under their feet. So, yeah, some of y'all, you could definitely be dealing with a divine counterpart. Okay. Virgo energy here. Yeah, they not letting you go. They say you belong to them. What? Don't play around. Don't play around. Don't play. Y'all heard. Y'all heard, motherfucking K-Camp. Acting up. Give you that. They're going to give you that when you're acting up. You hear me? They want you to act up. Look, not a swords. Here they come. Oh, here he come. Here he come. Or she. Not a swords. They rushing towards you. Because, baby, you belong to them. At least that's how they feel. Now, you may feel differently. I don't know. But in the energy currently, you belong to them. Okay? 
You already nuts, cashew. What the fuck did I say? Didn't I say if you was crazy, your person is a little crazy too? Yeah, both of you motherfuckers. person want to give you that D because you been acting up. I'm telling you. You got them fucked up. If you think somebody else finna have you and I ain't talking on no I kill you type shit. But no. They coming in to show you. Like you gonna choose me motherfucker. Them niggas ain't shit. Them bitches ain't comparing to your divine feminine. Basically what she telling you divine masculine. So you know, she ain't about the... <laughs> this Divine Feminine ain't playing no games either. She ain't no punk bitch. So, don't ever get it twisted. So, this Divine Feminine coming in is definitely going to be serious about you. <laughs> Look, Six of Pentacles here. Yeah, this person is ready to balance this out. They want equal reciprocity, equal give and take. Shit was unrequited. Wherever the third party situation landed them, it was unrequited. Didn't have any meaning. They didn't reap any rewards or benefits. You know, this person lost more than they gained. But also, this is part of their karma. Because they should have been given to you instead of focusing on other situations, people, places, and things, family members, friends, whoever. One night stand, party favors, we don't give a fuck. It just, they weren't focused on you. They should have been, but they weren't at the time. But like I said, they just were not ready. But that's part of their karma. Because... God definitely showed this person who you are. Look, Queen of Swords. You told this person the truth. You stood in your power. This person could have been intimidated by your intellect or your deep intuitive knowledge or knowing here. But you definitely don't take no shit. And you're going to speak your truth. You're going you gonna, to you gonna, you gonna, you gonna talk your shit like me. Queen of Swords energy, that's crazy because I was definitely in the Queen of Swords energy at the beginning. So, y'all, this person looks at y'all as the King or Queen of Swords. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna speak your truth and it's gonna be authentic. It's gonna be genuine. It's gonna be sincere, you know? And, and you know, these people can either meet you on your level or just not talk to you at all because you're not dumbing yourself down for nobody. That's just period. So you could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius or dealing with one, but this is how they see you. Yeah, eight of cups and they walking away from an ex. Okay, who has become the queen of swords. Like I said, it's a lot of begging ass energy. A bugaboo bitch. She ain't going nowhere type shit. But your person like, bitch, I'm leaving. <laughs> your person that told this bitch they leaving. Now, I kind of believe for some of y'all, they told this bitch they leaving and they coming towards you. Others of y'all, this person just told this bitch they was leaving and she panicking because she don't know exactly where this person is. She's lost like some type of tracking on this person. Maybe this person found out this bitch had a tracking device on them or they had their phone hacked or some way to, you know, especially if it's an iPhone user, you know, sharing locations, turn on this person's location secretly. I think it's some type of ghost shit you can do on the iPhone and shit. Like this bitch was definitely a trickster, you know? Definitely was a manipulator too. But the bitch was so disrespectful. Like, I'm not understanding why your person stayed so fucking long anyway. I mean, I know they had they had to have some type of emotional love for the bitch, but it wasn't none for them. I'm going to tell you the truth, because that's the queen of swords, bitch. She don't give a fuck about nobody. And nothing but herself, bitch. Like, this is the type of bitch that... Man, listen, your person definitely dealt with a lot of verbal abuse. And they come, they, nine times out of ten, your person did spew some of this shit back at this karmic energy. But it ain't what they want to do. Like, bitch, you supposed to be my woman. I'm not supposed to be cussing you out like a bitch on the street. You feel me? Like, I'm not supposed to be coming home to this type of energy, bitch. I'm supposed to come home to love, a warm, a warm home, some food, a clean home, like, inviting energy, nurturing. Like, this motherfucker being out there getting the money. But see, this is part of their lesson to learn. <laughs> you can't turn a home into a housewife. You can't do that. Or a young-minded, or, or I heard a young-minded bitch. You can't turn a young-minded motherfucker into somebody that's gonna know how to build a foundation and legacy that's on a whole nother different scale this motherfucker is only the king or queen of swords 
they not even gonna begin to to understand motherfucking legacy and shit. Cause they don't even have no foundation of their own. All this bitch got it is her mouth. Lies and gossip, and with the five of swords, maybe a group or a community or an organization of people. King of Wands, yeah, your person said, bitch, fuck you. They taking action. This person has found their confidence. They're stepping into their leadership energy now. And the King of Wands is definitely all about action. And I do feel like this person may have been non-committal in the past, okay? But I think that's what burns this karmic up, is the fact that y'all had no ties. Some of y'all, it could be a baby daddy, but I'm not feeling that. Some of y'all, I really just feel like you and this person have no type of lifelong ties like on the physical, on the 3D. And it grinds this Queen of Swords gears. Yeah, ten, ten, of swan, ten of Wands. Whoever this Queen of Swords is that's getting left behind, that your person is not playing games with, okay? They're setting boundaries with this bitch. And they don't like it, but your person is definitely with all the smoke. Like, girl, I'm not finna play with you. I'm not finna go back and forth with you. I said what the fuck I said. King of Wands, I, I know what the fuck I want and I'm going after it. You can't stop me from, from doing something that I want to do. Like, I just heard you're not my wife. So either there was a divorce or this was like a, a long-term girlfriend or a baby mama that felt like they was wifey and they're not. And this person just let them know, bitch, I'm single. I'm free. Like, I'm not, I don't belong to you. I choose where I want to go, and it's just grinding this bitch gears that they coming to you, and there's nothing tying you to this person. So in their mind, they're like, what the fuck? They don't have a baby together. They haven't talked. They've been in separation. I feel like this bitch been watching you too, um, Soul Tribe. I definitely feel like this bitch been watching you too. Yeah, and that's part of her Ten of Wands energy or his Ten of Wands energy, put it where it go is the fact that they see you living your best motherfucking life. And it has nothing to do with this person coming towards you, bro. You built this shit on your own. So this is a bitch who can't understand an empress. You're not going to understand an empress or an emperor. You're just not going to do that because you're not in that vibration. So you living your best life, focusing on you, like I said, in your nine of pentacles energy, being a boss bitch, or you know what I'm saying, that boss ass nigga that you are. It caught in, it caught in exactly what the fuck you desired. And the fact that you and this person may not, and now if you got children together, you know, disregard that part. But if you and this person don't have children together or any like financial ties or assets, it grinds this bitch gears that this person is taking action towards you because what the fuck do you got that they don't? What what like it's almost like this bitch knew that this person was with them because of a stipulation, which could have been a child, or it could have been like money, or maybe even sex. It's just this bitch can't figure it out. Like, what is it? Like, it's something you will never understand, baby. Yeah, two of swords. I'm telling you. So this is why your person tell them, like you know who you you know you know you belong to this person. I ain't even gonna I ain't even gonna cat. And if this is new love coming in, you definitely gonna belong to this person. It ain't gonna be no if ends or buts about it. Like it's gonna be a mutual agreement to cut off all third party situations. Two of swords. He's rejecting the offers from others, including this karmic he's leaving behind. He don't even care. He don't want to see him. He don't want to kick it with him, skate with him, nothing. Like, I know where I want to go. Look, King of Cups. I'm telling you. Because they in love with you. And these hoes know that. Like I said, it could be unspoken but known, bro. Like, these motherfuckers, I'm telling you, it's a lot of subliminals aimed at y'all, too. Even the people that you uh, either are friends with on Facebook or... Y'all have social media. These motherfuckers be throwing subliminals at y'all because this motherfucker coming towards you and they can't understand why. So they rather try to tear you down before this motherfucker get there, but he don't give a fuck because he know the truth. And he ain't playing no games. Look, eight of cups, what I say? Walking away from that shit. Bitch, I don't need you. This, yeah, nine of wands. It was a lesson learned for sure. Like I said, they went through a lot. That hard work definitely paid off. But one thing is for sure and two things is for certain. This person didn't give up on themselves. And you got to give them credit for not giving up on themselves. That's why they're in this King of Wands or Queen of Wands energy. 
because they had to, you know, get back in their bag. They had to find their confidence again. Whoever they were with or surrounding themselves with as far as third-party situations, definitely your person was not secure. They were insecure as fuck. Like, whoever they were surrounding themselves with. They did not. Your person felt like they had to be a certain way to be around these people. And they got tired of that shit. Uh, excuse me. Confirmation. Yeah. They had to go heal. They had to go through it. I just heard, I've gone through the fire. And I've been through the blood. I've been broken into pieces. Seen lightning flashing from above, but through it all, I remember that he loves me. Yeah, and he cares. Yeah, and he'll never put more on me than I. This person got a heart of a warrior like you. So there is some type of. I heard Akashic record. Like, th this person is awakening to some type of Akashic information here. Because they went through the initiation process with the Nine of Wands here. Oh shit. Yup. The hierophant here. This person has gained a spiritual promotion. Yeah. All eyes on you. Everybody knows this person is coming to you. That's what you don't know. You know now, though. So this is definitely like a soulmate counterpart. Like I said, nine of wands, they may have had sexual addictions or this person, like I said, was very flighty and in inconsistent, but they had, they had to let that shit go. They had to make a change. It wasn't, it wasn't going to keep, it wasn't going to work. It was not working already. But like I said, when God say it is so, then it is so. You got the Hierophant Taurus energy here. Two of Cups, Cancer Energy, Page of Swords, okay, Gemini, Libra. But yeah, this person wants to be with you, and they're just going to have to watch. Watch y'all love, Queen Niza. They hate our love. They want to see us fall. Yeah, but it's not going to happen, bro. Y'all done already been through the worst of the worst. It's over now. Like, it's only up from here. God is only going to shower you with opportunities of abundance and new beginnings. Yeah, and it was in a fucking reverse. So, like I said, I told you. So, y'all could definitely have been feeling the emotions of your person. But, yeah, your person shed some tears over you in this connection. There was a heavy regret, you know, especially dealing with these other options out here, third-party situations. You know, a lot of y'all, this person wished they could, you know, call you or wish they could have called you or reached out to you. But like I said, for some of y'all, this person was in jail. So it was like spiritual jail. Literally, in jail, spiritual jail. Because it caused this person to sit the fuck down and really focus and get some clarity. And if it wasn't physical jail for a lot of y'all, like I said, this was just spiritual jail, bro. They had to endure. They had to see their fuck up. Five of cups. So that they can make corrections, you know? They needed to purge this shit out. They, this person grieved the, the, the loss of you or the absence of you. I ain't going to say loss, the absence of you. Like there was a, a heavy sadness over this person. They didn't want to do nothing with nobody. They didn't want to. This person really shut down, bro. And nobody understood them. Nobody could understand them but you because there's only two cups in the upright. And the two of cups already came out. So at the end of the day, you are this person's soulmate. You are the only one who understands them on a soul level. This is what it is. Now this person is like, yeah, like I'm ready to make it known. Like show the world. Let's let's tell the world about it. Fuck it. Yeah, ten of swords here. I told you there was an ending between y'all. Either you ended it or the divine force in ending a betrayal. It needed to happen, some type of separation. But this person just know they got instant karma, bro. Soon as you walked away, 
left, right, left, right, betrayal. Like, this person experienced a lot of harsh, painful endings. Yeah. And it had a lot to do with third-party energies or a third-party situation. Could have even been a sibling. For some of y'all, this could have been a sibling here that caused an ending between you and your person due to some type of lie or deception. And the whole time, there, this, somebody got a fucked up ass brother or sister, okay? Because this motherfucker betrayed your person plenty of times, okay? Behind their back. Especially when it came to this connection, though. They wanted to make sure this shit was over with. And possibly for some of y'all, have y'all unalived, okay? So your person could be finding out about, what is it called, fatal attraction? This bitch is a fatal attraction, whoever they're leaving. If it's not a sibling, it's definitely an ex-lover. The bitch is a fatal attraction. This person then found out some information about a plot to unalive you. Take you up out of here. They not having that shit. Yep, Ace of Cups. Because you're their one true love. Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, it's definitely some type of obligation with a, a feminine energy that they had. Could be a Virgo, Taurus, uh, Capricorn. Yeah, that, that Capricorn energy. Somebody has let this karmic bitch go for good. And there could have been some type of... There could have been some type of soul tie, karmic soul tie. Okay, but you got to know when you sleep with people, you do create soul ties. And this person created... A, a soul tie with the wrong motherfucker, bro. And it cost them big time. Ten of swords here. Yeah, strength. You know, this person had to find their way back. Shit. I just saw Kermit. Well, yeah, this person is in love with you. Like I said, others of y'all, y'all get new love after a betrayal. Okay? Could have been infidelity. Don't have to be. Look, Ace of Wands, they want a new beginning with you. King of Cups. Can't make it up. Look, the food card. They're ready to risk it all on you. I just heard, I'm like, when you spending on me? Spending on me, yup. The food card, yeah. They want to spend it all right. <laughs> but yeah, this person definitely, you know, they want to come with an offer. It may not be big at first, but I feel like that's just to check your temperature. See where you at? But yeah, this person is about to take some type of leap of faith here. Come towards you, baby, because they are full of love. They're in love with you. Not full of love. They're in love with you. This is overflowing love. Okay? So, yeah. This person is ready for love. I am ready for love. Why are you hiding from me? Yeah, they learned their lesson. Page of Pentacles. And like I said, they found some type of information, too. That just gave them... It was like the divine made sure they found it. So they could eight of cups this bitch. Two of swords. Yeah, it was something this person was not seeing. And God put it right in front of their face. Yep, God put it right in front of their face. There is no way you can deny this information I'm showing you right now. And if you do, you a fool. Yeah. And not the good one. <laughs> I heard, see, when I get the strength to leave you. Look, Ace of Swords, somebody lied too because that shit fell in the reverse. Somebody lied on your motherfucking name and reputation. Oh, baby. And they, and they did. They caused a hole, a block in y'all connection. But it don't matter because this person coming in with the truth. Okay? They coming in with the truth. They ready to be honest and take action. Somebody lied on your fucking name to this person. And they found some type of conversation. Some texts. Some emails. It was definitely something. It could have been an iPhone. Or a phone in general. Some information in a phone. Yup, a karmic. Can't make it up. The bitch lied on you. So this karmic, um, air sign bitch. Look, the fucking emperor. I'm telling you, bro. They wanted to keep this person away from you so bad. It did not work, though. But like I said, they don't give no fucks. They're in their divine masculine energy. Period, poo. Yeah. Four swords, they healed. Whatever situation they had with this third party is over. They laid that shit to rest, baby. It ain't, they ain't returning to that shit. The fuck I look like? Look, <laughs> this shit fell right on Cormac. Seven of Wands, they blocked that hoe. Okay, and all this magic, gossip, lies, spell work, this shit backfiring. Return to sender. Yeah, four cups. Your person is bored without you, baby. They need some, 
Ace of Wands in their life. I'm telling you. Like, this person need that passion. You inspire this person. And these hoes couldn't compare. And like I said, this person is rejecting these offers. They're not taking offers, especially not from this corner. Bitch, quit calling me. That's what I just heard. Bitch, quit calling me. Ace of Pentacles. Okay? So, yeah, this, this Divine Mask is going to bring you this offer you can't refuse. That's what I just heard. So there is definitely possibility for marriage here or y'all are getting ready to like move in together. There's about to be some type of high level commitment here with the Ace of Pentacles and the Hierophant. So it's like God is giving the green light on this shit. Yeah, King of Pentacles. Oh, there you go. Look, hey y'all, King of Pentacles, if you know, you know. <laughs> yeah, I told you, spin it, spin it. Spin it. You can't take it with your bro. Hey, spin it. Spin it. Yeah, this motherfucker finna spin it all on you. Look, not a cup. King of Pentacles, baby. It's up and it's up. I told you, spin it. Spin it. I like when you spin it on me. Spin it on me. Yeah, they like it. I like it. This person love you, baby. You are everything they need. Tell them niggas you belong to me. Tell them hoes you belong to me. Go ahead and let them know you committed. Yeah, this person is definitely confident though. They've been working their ass off too. Yeah, ten of wands. They definitely been, you know, they've been, you know, hit with some heavy loads and shit. They got a lot of shit going on, but that's not stopping them from coming to you. That actually makes them miss you more, to be honest. So, you know, toes want to play with magic and shit, not knowing they just pushing this motherfucker right on towards you. You all in their thought process and shit. They can't get enough of you. Can't get enough of your little baby. Look, five, five of cups. This person missed the fuck out of you, baby. They feel empty. There's a void only you can feel. And not F-I-L-L. -L. I mean F-E-E-L. There's a void only you can feel. Literally. It's like nobody else Healed this person where they needed to be healed but you. With this five of pentacles. And it's crazy because I feel like some of this shit stemmed from childhood. Okay? So their mother couldn't even feel this void. That's what's kind of like tripping them out. And that part's not for everybody. Because everybody didn't have no fucked up karmic parents. You know, divine masculine or feminine hybrid go for you. Everybody didn't have fucked up karmic parents, okay? But still, there is a void, like, when it comes to relationship dealing with the opposite sex or romance here. This person had a hard time, like, adjusting, you know, embracing it. But you allowed this person a safe place to do that. So they didn't feel like they were unsafe or they or that you would just abandon them and for some of y'all the eight of cups is also you as well you know like i said maybe you you made a head over heart decision and you chose to walk away from this motherfucker because they was acting stupid foolish you know and and they felt abandoned by you and left out in the cold but god had to show this person the truth like you did that you need to take accountability for your actions in the past. That's what led up to, you know, divine feminine or divine masculine walking away from you and you feeling left out in the cold. It's almost like God told this person and the angels. It's like God told this person, you put yourself out in the cold because it didn't have to be like that. Yeah. It's like God showed this person, let me show you why you left out in the cold. It's not because this person absolutely wanted to. It was because of you and your actions at the time. Like, God had to really minister to this person. Like, show them the real truth. Like, they really had to spend a lot of time alone. So, that's why I said for some of y'all, this person literally is in jail and they don't have a choice. Yeah, because that's a window right there but you can barely see out of it it's giving me jail vibes and i know nine times out of ten most times people pull the eight of swords and they they get jail but i'm not getting that f from the uh eight of swords right now i'm getting it from the five of pentacles because when you're in jail you even if you got a cellmate or you know you linked up y'all know how i go you still alone at the end of the day you know you still 
know that these people can turn on you at any time because they are not your family. They are not people who genuinely love you unconditionally. You have to adapt to those conditions, meaning this person definitely had to stay on their toes a lot. You know, they had to be on swivel a lot, you know. So when it was time to lay it down, you feel me? All they could think about was you like, damn, I ain't never had to be on swivel like that. I ain't never had to worry about this person stabbing me in my back. I ain't never had to worry about this person just leaving me out in the cold. I ain't never had to worry about this person doing some slime shit to me. Like, I ain't never had to worry about this person cheating on me. Like, this person see you as loyal too. With this Ace of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, they see you as very loyal. So there was a lot, bro, that, that God had to show this person. Like, listen, this is what you missed when you chose to, you know, operate in your ego, your pride. Being cocky and shit. Yeah. Just tell me the truth. You won't hurt my feelings, boo. Trust issues. Chris Brown acting. Just tell me the truth. I'm not the only one you dealing with. So for some of y'all, if you ain't dealing with somebody, they think you're dealing with somebody. But that's just on them. Others of y'all, y'all could definitely be entertaining somebody else. And they say, hey, tell that nigga to bounce. <laughs> Look, some of, them, some of y'all are. Some of y'all do have a third party. No cat. It ain't just your person. Even if you just talking, texting, and entertaining, this is a third party. So they like, hey, tell them niggas you can't talk. Tell them niggas you take it. You belong to me. King of Pinnacles, baby. Okay? King of Wands in this bitch. Emperor Energy. What do you mean you belong to them? Hey, what? Quit playing with me. You know we chosen to be together, baby. Leo Energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Aries Energy out here. Okay? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Taurus. And yeah, Aries energy here. Yeah, some of y'all, y'all. Look, the high priest is bitching, you know it too. You just try. <laughs> they feel like you hide your third party and shit. Like, yeah, go on, tell them niggas you done. I know what the fuck you got going on. This person could be psychic too. Or they do, or they listen to tarot, or they they actually they they go get tarot readings done, or they do them themselves. Or they just have this. They, this deep inner knowing like they feel you energetically too so if it ain't none of those but i do feel strongly for some of y'all y'all person that got a tarot reading done on you in, in this <laughs> high priestess or them themselves expose the third party <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell yeah bitch Ho holy spirit told on your ass too motherfucker Pisces, Pisces energy, water sign energy, okay, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, <laughs> so this person like, yeah, I know about your little third party, <laughs> they know about your little third party situation and whatnot, you feel me, but go ahead and let that motherfucker, I'm coming back to get it, tell them niggas that it's mine, yeah, tell them niggas that you belong to me, the fuck? <laughs> Your person mean fucking business. And they got to. With this King of Pentacles and the Emperor out here, you better tell them niggas you take it for your... I'm about to say your niggas start. <laughs> what do you say? Nigga <laughs> like, who won't smoke with us? 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 Do, 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 do. What the fuck is that? Your person gonna get on that all black shit. You better chill out. <laughs> but yeah, your person definitely, <laughs> they definitely have a deep inner knowing. They can feel with somebody in your energy too. You ain't the only one with gifts. That's what they want you to know. Baby, I see you too. The fuck? Okay, so you ain't hiding shit. You ain't slick like you think you are. That's, see, your person coming to let you know, baby. I know what the fuck going on. <laughs> your person.
person on your ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Y'all know it's the truth. The high priestess definitely ain't gonna come out. If it's not. But yeah, this is this is the truth, baby. It's, it's you being illuminated too. <laughs> Said, let them side niggas go. Let them side hoes go. They know what's up. They know they took a long time. They know you got options. They be seeing you. Like I said, they see you. They watch you. Look, five of swords. Look, they know you got the haters. They don't give a fuck though. They know y'all got haters. These hoes is being blocked. For some of y'all, y'all person is standing up to these karmics about their um your name being in their mouth, bro. It could be up to three bitches or three niggas, you know, that kind of have a hard time with this person, you know, letting go. And this could be family. It could be family or it could be um, like some close friends or a friend circle, a group of people. And like this motherfucker, like, hey, watch your motherfucking mouth, bro. Like that shit is not true. Like, why the fuck you even still speaking on that shit? Like, you know what the fuck up with me? Damn. Cause that shit was not nice. The energy, maybe it sound nice coming from my mouth, but the energy I got from that motherfucker, they not motherfucking playing. Like, watch your motherfucking tone type shit. Like, you my homie or I fuck with you to a certain extent, but when it come to that one, you need to watch your motherfucking mouth. Period. Point blank. Look, six of wands, boom, in a motherfucking face. Your person ready to tell tell them you belong to me. Yeah, chariot, here they come, baby. And they they don't they don't plan on losing. This person ain't gonna lose. Okay, you could be a high priestess yourself, or you can be on an online platform. Okay, you could do what I do, or you just you know you are a spiritual advisor. You may not even need cards. You may just speak to people or speak life or a motivational speaker of some sort. But you definitely receive divine um divine um downloads, intuitive downloads here. Okay, and you're being recognized here. People are recognizing you. You're getting success. You're in this energy of victory, triumph, and everything is just working out for you. You know, you're being put in high honor. Okay, so, you know, you have a lot of respect from a lot of people right now, especially knowing what the fuck went on behind the scenes with this third party energy. You stood 10 toes down, baby, by your motherfucking self because the high priestess, the high priestess, it's like the female version of the hermit. Definitely, lo they love to stay in solitude. They embrace their solitude, you know, but, and they hold a lot within. They definitely are very private and mysterious energy, but you're not alone spiritually. And that's what these people needed to fucking understand. Just because you don't roll with a big ass crowd looking for clout like these motherfuckers. And the, yeah, because these are clout chasers here. Um, you know, that don't mean you soft or you can't stand on your own. And I think these people just underestimated you. And I even to a certain extent, I feel like your person underestimated you. I I definitely don't think this person thought that you would walk away and stay gone. Like, <laughs> maybe this person is used to you coming back or, you know, reaching out and you didn't do that shit. You gave them the silent treatment. Like you walked away, you made your last closing argument <laughs> like you was, like if you was in court and you left it at that and you didn't return, you didn't say nothing. You just focused on you, but it was all divinely guided and orchestrated with the high priestess. Your discernment, your insight, like I said, you could be an oracle, you could be a tarot reader, or you could just be a... Uh, open to divination and spirituality. You could listen to tarot. You don't necessarily have to do it. You feel me? But yeah, it puts you in this six of wands energy. That's for sure. And you still in your high priestess energy. So a lot of people respect you. Like you really stood your ground against these people. And your person see that too. Like now, especially if this person, like I said, y'all were in separation. Y'all wasn't around each other. Like, especially if this person was in jail. Cause you know, everybody told this person, hey, We've been waiting on you to come home. We got a lot to tell you. Like, some of this shit can't be written in letters. Some of this shit people actually have to see. Like, your person face to face. And they told this person a lot of shit. Like, you don't know. Like, this motherfucker really was holding you down low key. Damn. Not the homies trying to... 
Okay, so some of their friends, you know, they homies, they like, they rooting for this connection. They like, I ain't gonna care. A homegirl or homeboy stood they ground by their motherfucking self. Yeah. They told this person. They grouped up against you. Now, they may not have known about the spell work and shit, but they definitely told this person that they grouped up against you. Like, yeah, it was a lot of people against this person for no reason. Because of you. Basically, your person, that, that's what they homeboy is telling them. Or homeboys that really support you. They think you beautiful, to be honest. They want a woman or a man like you. Like, shit, I wish I could find somebody who just like being low-key and nurturing me and my home and my children and shit. Like... Your person know what they got. Like, and it took they real home homeboys or friends to tell them, like, bro, like, you got a winner, bruh. Like, you need to go get them type shit. Yeah. Chariot. They need to come get you. That's why you're in this still energy. Because it's not meant for you to take action towards this person. It's meant for this person to take action towards you. Hence, why this person came out as the king of wands. Yeah. And a chariot. Chariot is all about action too. Cancer energy. Pisces, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Taurus, Libra, Aries. Like, it's all I hear. Aquarius, let's not forget that. So yeah, this person, look, they're choosing a different route. They're choosing a new life. They are no longer operating in the past energy or holding on to an old connection. They're ready to connect and partner up. With someone who meets them on their vibration. Like you. Period. Pooh. Excuse me. Baby. This shit is forever. Armand and Trey. Baby, you're mine now. Forever. I'm telling you. Look. Queen of Wands. Told you. They not letting up on you, baby. What do you mean? Thank you, divas. May God bless you, Tom. And anything you spend, you get it back times 10. Thank you, love. I greatly appreciate it. Look, they ready to invest in the real thing. They want to win with you. And you so powerful to this person. They're like, boy, you powerful, you sexy, you spiritual, you gifted. You can see the future. I just heard you can gaze into the future. Future. <laughs> This person think you like that's so raven. Like for real. Like, like, bitch, you can really, you really do have that so raven gifts. Like, <laughs> and as the Queen of Wands, you definitely are gifted. As this person is too. Hence, they are the King of Wands. And the high priestess surface for the both of y'all. So, and you got the hierophant here too. So yeah, like y'all are equally yoked, equally balanced here. There's not gonna be. An unequal exchange of energy, time, affection, love, gifts, or affection. It's just not. Y'all both, both of y'all think each other, y'all both think y'all got fire SEX from one another. Okay, you feel what I'm saying? Look, tower. I told you this person ready to, look, they can't hold back. The the pressure is too much, baby. Y'all got to let them, let them know. I'm coming back to get it. Two of wands. Tell them niggas that it's mine. She fuck they thought tower hoes. Like I said, God above all, and the rest will motherfucking truly fall, baby. And that's on me, baby. Like the fuck I said. Don't play with the big guy. Don't play with him. Okay? Cause he will fuck your whole shit up. Period. Y'all motherfuckers better quit coming over here playing. I don't give a fuck what, what y'all heard about. I don't know what y'all heard about me. And I don't give a fuck. Just don't play with me. Okay? Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Come on, baby. Don't play with it. Just like y'all play. These Cormies play. Oh, baby. It'll be worse. Fucking with me. I'm just saying. <laughs> but, yeah. It's, it's over here. There's inevitable change. Like... The realizations just hit home for everybody involved. Karmix, your person. Shit, it wasn't pretty, but it is now that your person know the truth with the sun card. Shit. Aha! Four of Wands in the world card. Yeah, they could have, they definitely could have been married or in some type of 
common law marriage, living under the same roof. Not everybody is married when the four wands. This is about home life. So they could have been living with somebody, but they closed out a cycle because they want forever with you. They want home life with you. They want marriage with you. They see you as the one they want to come home to. They want to wake up to. They want to do life with. Yeah, this person feel left out. Look, six of cups. Can't make it up. Play with somebody else. Don't play with me. I told you they coming back to get it. Tell them niggas that it's mine. Tell them niggas you belong with me. Quit playing with me. Before they pull up on you and show show you why they not to be played with. They like, baby, I'm a grown man now. You ain't finna play with me like I'm like I'm a sucker or something. Like, don't even do that. You know, be like, okay. You may not. You may get some pushback like me. Like, I might talk my shit. I'm gonna talk my shit, but. I'd be willing to hear it, motherfucker, out, though. Okay? Saturn energy with the world card here. So this person paid out some karma. They paid out some karmic, um... They had to pay some karmic karma out, okay? Paid it out, and now they're, they're embarking on a new beginning in life with you. So it's something about karma being paid out and now they're able to start this new life with you. This new beginning to success and abundance. Okay. I do feel like this person's um, crown chakra is like super activated. So this person could definitely be receiving a lot of downloads at this moment in time. 446 views. Get my motherfucking likes up. Thank y'all. I got 350 likes in this bitch. I love y'all. Thank y'all. Keep running that shit up for you, girl. I love y'all. Thank y'all for y'all continued support. To the new newcomers, thank you for y'all support. To the passers by, the viewers, even the haters, thank y'all so much, okay? I might talk my shit, but I show my gratitude towards my soul tribe because y'all help keep this motherfucker up and running too. Let's not get it twisted because if y'all wasn't tuning in, you know what I'm saying? What would be the point? But yeah, I love y'all. Thank you. Look, be spontaneous here. So definitely this person is going to be doing something outside of the norm. <laughs> At least for you. Or how you see them. This person is definitely ready to be a husband though. Or a wife. Gratitude and appreciation. So yeah, this person definitely, like I said, they come, they're going to come in and show you better than they can tell you. Yeah, they're going to show you and express to you verbally how they feel. and But there's going to be a lot of action here. Yeah, King of Wands. Queen of Wands. You are a woman of action too. So it's not just the uh, Divine Masculine. It's a Divine Feminine out here too. So if you're a Divine Masculine, just know like, you know, yo, yo, Divine Feminine finna meet you where you at. Expansion here. Yeah, they're ready to grow. This person missed the fuck out of you. They love you, too. They feel like a kid in a candy store. Look, love matters. I'm telling you. Wherever they were, there was no love. You help this person see see through love. Chris Brown and Tank. See through love. 43 breaking down to a 7. You help this person see um, from their higher self. So there is some type of divine connection here with 43 breaking down to a 7. Ah, uh, that's crazy because I forgot to say that the number 34 was significant in this reading. Maybe you could be 34, your person could be 34, but it's crazy that um, 43, that's what triggered that download. So 43, 34, maybe there could be like a 10 year difference between you and this person. If they make you happy, that's all that matters. Love matters. Fuck what everybody else got to say. You feel me? You a grown man, grown woman, you living on, you doing what you're supposed to, can't nobody tell you who to love. If you love that person and you know it's genuine between the both of y'all, then fuck everybody else. They ain't gotta live life um, with y'all or for y'all. Shit, y'all gotta do that shit on your own and with your divine counterpart, whoever you choose to be with. It ain't about everybody. Fuck them folks. Gratitude and appreciation. That's crazy. And speaking of, did y'all see in the community board where I posted about Megan Thee Stallion? Who was that? 
See, man, thank you, my love. May God bless you times 10, boo. And anything you spend, you get it back times 10. Oh, thank y'all so much. I seriously do love y'all. Let me see. I'm, 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 I'm missing shit. Hold on. Let me let me show y'all some love real quick. Thank you, LaDon, baby. Oh, I appreciate y'all. Y'all are so sweet. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much. Thank you, uh, Empress Maya. But yeah, um, y'all know what I said about Megan when I was speaking on Megan. I told y'all that I didn't fuck with her music like this of recent, of late, or whatever. And I told y'all that I didn't like who she was becoming. Like, I didn't like the image or, you know, and I told y'all that, you know, if I was around her, I would have been a friend to check her. And I said, and I told y'all in a lie specifically, I said, I said, Megan has nobody around her to hold her accountable or to put her in her place and check her like, hey, you doing too much. You need to chill out. You know, you got a career like, you know, that type of shit. I said a little more, but I don't exactly remember exactly everything. But I know for sure I said that first. And there she is on IG expressing the fact that she actually needed friends around her who were going to hold her accountable instead of enabling her decision now we are grown that is a fact i that is true we are grown you are responsible for your own actions and all of that but if if you really want to evolve you definitely need people around you that are going to hold you accountable accountable because sometimes we as people we get so set in our ways that we don't see certain shit within ourselves and we need to hold each other accountable. That's part of unconditional love. Exactly, Empress. They were never her friends. And I said that exact same thing. But um, that's part of unconditional love. And I do. I hold her accountable because she is a grown woman. But you got to think about what the fuck she went through too. Like she lost everybody that she knows for sure loves her unconditionally her mama her father and her grandmother are all gone so to a certain extent she was really crying out for help it was just in the wrong way and she she took to people that were not good for her because of her emotional vulnerability and her need for security and love and she went searching for it in all the wrong places when she should have been going within Megan is a very intelligent girl, but I do feel like the industry definitely took a toll on her and, you know, clouded her judgment, <clears throat> clouded her better judgment as a person and as a woman who was striving to be successful, not just as a rapper, but as um, someone in, in a prof uh, medical pro uh, profession. You feel me? So... I do have a little grace for her, but I hold her accountable for her actions because at the end of the day, we are always given warning. Warning comes before destruction. So if you're not in your higher self, you will miss it. But I'm just glad that she's at least able to see and acknowledge it. Now, is she right in the situation all the way around? Hell no. You feel me? But there was some truth to her because I seen it. Like, I watched it. Like, I watched it. I'm like, damn, them ain't her friends. You feel what I'm saying? Like, so, yeah. But same goes with your person. This is the same type of energy they were in. This is your person. Same type of situation. You feel me? But if somebody is willing to accept, change, and acknowledge, then cool. We can move forward. That's not a problem. I have a problem with people who don't want to acknowledge, don't want to take accountability, and feel like they done no wrong. So, yeah. You know what's crazy, Sonny, is I felt the same way. And I feel like Summer deals with insecurities but this ain't a celebrity uh i'm gonna have to come on live when i ain't doing a reading and we could talk about all this shit so probably here soon we're gonna just come on this motherfucker i'm probably be chiefing and shit and we're gonna talk and we're gonna 
you know, shoot our intuitive downloads back and forth to one another. And that's a way, another way of putting p puzzles of the pieces of the puzzle together, you know. So, yeah, we're going to have a, but this ain't the celebrity. But back to Megan, like I said, this is your person's story as well. Maybe not the same situation, but it's it's kind of the similar story. Like, like when it comes to surroundings and people and family and friends and shit. Look, hope and happiness. So they do have hope. They are happy. They want to be happy with you. You make this person happy. Period, point blank. Look, beautiful hearts. You know, they feel like you are the ace of pentacles. To them, you are. That's why they want to give it to you. But to them, you are the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. You are their dream girl, dream guy, Nine of Cups. They always saw you in this manner. They were intimidated by their own, their own um, desires. This person was intimidated by the own, their own desires, desires of their own heart. This person was scared. They got scared because it started to manifest physically. They didn't know how to take that shit. Like, oh, this shit for real. Oh, uh, am I really ready for this? Oh, shit, I don't think so. It was too real. This shit keep getting realer and realer. Yeah. <laughs> Baby, I treat you like royalty. Something, something do to me. You change this person's life. You change their outlook on love. You change their outlook on hope and faith and optimism and believing in the impossible and having confidence within themselves like you just help this person raise their whole vibration even in your absence <laughs> damn okay so for real you did your thing your big one but yeah with this four ones you could definitely be dealing with a twin flame high level soulmate but they did leave some type of you know living situation okay or there was a divorce here yeah expansion here so, yeah, this person definitely is, you know, working on broadening their horizons. They may have had to work more hours than usual and shit. Yeah, higher ground. This person is 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 learning how to balance and sustain and remain grounded in this newfound divinity. Because that's basically what it is. It's a vibration and a frequency, but it's divinity with this emperor here like this is divinity and they are learning to master and, and, and sustain this you have to learn how to regulate high vibrational energy and people think that shit is easy and it's not like do you realize this energy meaning your body your mental your mind and your heart they have to be equipped to handle that type of vibration on the regular we're not just talking about sporadic here and there or when you want something from God. Let me raise my vibrations. No, we're talking about a day-to-day -day routine every day. It's hard to stay in those vibrations, let alone sustain it because it's energy. So you have to be able to regulate, sustain, and be equipped to be able to work, work in that type of energy, bro. So it does get tired and sometimes it, it gets draining because you can feel that shit, especially when you're grounded. You can definitely feel it in your feet. You feel me? You, you can feel it in your body, bro. That shit takes work. And when you feel yourself becoming shifty and unstable, we have to meditate. We have to because you can feel it. As soon as your energy start feeling shifty and shit, you can feel it because it affects your physical energy. You can feel that shit. You feel me? So, you know, we got to off the flip. We got to ground ourselves. We got to, we got to, hold on, okay. Let me take a step back. We got to get in that four swords type of energy. Like, let me meditate. Am I missing something? I don't want to miss nothing. You feel me? But most of all, staying in that vibration. You feel me? So, yeah. Hey. See, when I get to talking real shit like that, motherfuckers start dropping out of here. That's how I know motherfuckers really be karmics. Because they be looking for the drama and shit. I'm not with it. Unless I absolutely have to be. I don't have to do shit. I don't, I don't have I don't have to pick up on that shit all the time. I don't even want to. But I can definitely tell when when I get start to speak on the real shit and I stop getting off of the subject of union and relationship and sex and love, then everybody wanna start tuning out. 
Like, that's why shit don't be coming in for a lot of y'all because y'all don't know how to sit and listen and, and gain higher learning. Y'all motherfuckers be so fixated on the lust of the connection. That's why y'all miss the healing in the end. That's why a lot of y'all are in bitter energy. That's why a lot of y'all say, fuck my person. I don't want them back. And all you care about is them getting karma. Because you're not trying to hear the real shit that's going to help you raise your vibration. To not only help you, but help your person that you, you know what I'm saying, you obviously still have feelings for it, raise their vibrations. So I don't be understanding how people could say they're so spiritual, but when they listen to somebody who's really tapped in and they get to really talking about the real shit, they don't want to hear it or they tapped out. It's boring now. Like, why don't subscribe to me. Because I'm going to tell you the truth. We're going to kick it. We're going to laugh. But it's going to be a lot of real shit that's spoken over here. And a lot of that shit be for my soul tribe to help keep us in that vibration. But a lot of people don't want to hear that shit because then it means taking accountability. Oh, shit. I ain't trying to hear that shit. Let me click off. Because once you hear it and you're convicted by it, you know there's some type of action that needs to be taken. And motherfuckers ain't, re ain't ready to take that type of action towards their own personal healing and happiness because it all starts with you at the end of the day that's what people fail to realize it starts with your ass and if you're not willing to sit and listen to god and hear the real the real truth the real raw uncut truth coming straight from the divine through me because all you care about is listening to your person and wondering and listen about your person sexually romantically and, and as far as union and when they're gonna come in you missing the whole point look keep leaving i'm telling you three was it 398 399 yeah keep leaving bro i'm telling you that's why i say what i say and i, I get why god moved with me how he moved with me see when shit get lit oh everybody tune in yeah yeah that's me that's my person yeah yeah he coming in but soon as god start convicting motherfuckers on this motherfucker then everybody I ain't. I'm good. I ain't subscribing. I'm good. I don't, I don't, I'm straight. You got a bonnet on. Like, that's why you ain't getting this shit. And that's why you will never resonate with the shit. You have to be able to handle constructive criticism as a divine being too. Not everybody is out to get you. Not everybody is a karmic that speaks ill will on you. Now, your discernment comes into play. That's when you know when it's coming from the divine or it's coming from somebody's flesh, their carnal flesh, meaning their meat suit, their 3D self. So this whole, I, I just feel like spirituality needs to be purified. I feel like it needs to be cleansed because there's too much trend, trendy energy, too much, oh, I'm spiritual and I believe in my ancestors, but are you really connected? And which ancestors are you connected to? Because not everybody has, all your ancestors ain't good. So you got to know who you even calling in. You can be come, calling in some, some ancestors from a legwa. That practice and use the legwa. You could be calling them in. But you don't know that because you, you so busy focused on, yeah, my ancestors going to do this. And, and, and we going to be in the union. And, and, but you ain't even really healing. All you fixated on is controlling the narrative or hearing what you want to hear that appeases you. But when it comes down to conviction, so deep, so conviction, people don't want to hear that shit. And that's crazy to me because warning comes before destruction. And I would love for God to give me a warning first if it's meant for me so I can get my shit together. But I'm, I'm like, you know, like, sometimes I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I don't even like saying I'm spiritual. I'm gonna just start telling motherfuckers I'm godly. How about that? I'm just, I don't even like saying I'm spiritual no more. Because when people think of spiritual, the first thing they think about is negativity. Why? Because it has been tainted. It has been contaminated by karmic motherfuckers. Read the book of Enoch. Them witches and warlocks. These motherfuckers who use magic to wield their, their own agenda. That is not for the greatest and highest good of all. And they have totally like fucked it over. So as soon as somebody hear you spiritual. 
Oh, I'm good. I don't know. You one of them woke motherfuckers. No, I ain't woke. I'm enlightened. That's what I am. I'm not woke. I'm an enlightened being. A godly, enlightened being. But that's what I see. And I don't give a fuck. I don't want people over here that ain't really wanting to heal. You know, I don't want that energy over here. Go, You can go give your money to, and your views and your likes to somebody else. That's cool. I want to maintain a pure, genuine, and sincere YouTube platform for my soul tribe as much as possible. And I'll be damned if I let these fake, phony motherfuckers come over here and, and fucking dirty it all up. That's why I'm here. That's why God put me here to run this shit. So, no, take that shit somewhere else. I don't want you watching me then. Don't subscribe. Because every time I get up on here, it ain't going to be telling you what your person going through and what the Cormac then did and how he handling that bitch. I don't give a fuck, to be honest. And you shouldn't either. You should be focused on a blessing God has waiting on you to shower down on you. And if this person is a part of your destiny, then you have nothing to worry about. As long as you are in your sole purpose, baby. That's it. That's all. But motherfuckers don't want to hear that shit. They just want what they want. And that's, that's the thing. Everybody's so motherfucking popcorn now. I'm not a popcorn bitch. I'm not. So if it takes me doing the work so that I can get it right, I can get the, the divine blessing God has for me, then cool. I'll wait. Patience is a virtue, baby. So I'm good. But yeah, Chris Brown. Why your pussy got me hanging like this? Oh, nah. But yeah, real life shit. But I've noticed that on a lot of different platforms. That's why I can't fuck with everybody, bro. I didn't clear so many bitches out my energy when I first... I subscribed to a lot of tarot readers that I thought was really divine, bro. But God started showing me these motherfuckers one by one, baby. And then I started seeing that energy manifest into my life. Oh, I gotta cut you hoes water off. And guess what? As soon as I purged my energy... And I got rid of them bitches out of my energy. My life changed. Shit got better quick as fuck. And that's real life talk. Every tarot reader is not divine. And every tarot reader is not spiritually gifted. Some of these hoes just be lying. They know how to connive. It's scamming and shit. Miss Cleo did it for a long time. Not knocking her and shit. May she rest in peace. But... I can get you hoes to believe anything if it sound good to you and it, it make you feel all right with yourself. If it's what you want to hear, all I got to tell you hoes, yeah, that nigga, that nigga coming back, he got some money, he gonna spend it on you, bitch. You ain't got to worry about shit whole time. This nigga over there in the third party fucking and sucking on another bitch. Got a baby on the way and shit. And you done listen to this karmic ass terror reader bitch tell you, oh yeah, that nigga coming back. <laughs> And ain't gave you a lick of detail of what's going on and what's causing this person to heal and come back to your ass. Because believe me, don't just come the fuck back. Why are you coming the fuck back? I'm examining everything. You can't come back to me in the same fucking energy. I need to know why you coming back. What's up? Cause if it ain't if it ain't if it ain't sent from the divine, you, I'm blocking that shit. Return to sender, bitch. Stay where you at. I'm good. Love, enjoy. We gonna be happy. We gonna be alright. My cloud, we gonna be alright. You feel me? Well, yeah. Let's get back to the reading, though. Y'all, y'all motherfuckers, these motherfuckers be needing to hear the truth, motherfuckers. These motherfuckers so brainwashed. It's crazy. I heard, I just heard these ter these karmic tarot reader platforms are about to, they about to fold. Yep. Uh-huh. These karmic tarot readers that's been playing on people's mental. They shit about to fold. So, y'all believe what the fuck y'all want. I don't give a fuck. I'm just doing my job. That's exactly what I just heard. These Cormac Tarot readers, they, they bet the foe. And then, just like, for exa example, I, I, and then I'm going to get back to the reading. But for example, me personally, there was a, a, a reader on here, and she was a Caucasian lady. Her name was Divine Clarity 47 or something like that. And 
she was on here speaking into people's lives and, you know, flying her riches and shit like that. Oh, yeah, I got, I got a Lamborghini. I'm getting my Lamborghini fixed. And, you know, you guys can have this too. Just give me your information and um, I'll show you how to invest in Bitcoin and all of this shit. Then this bitch come and make a video say, oh, I'm crying and shit. Oh, I'm leaving Tarot alone. It's not of God. It's, it's the oh Lord and it's evil. It's, and I, and I, I think you should turn away from Tarot too. First of all, bitch, you was karmic. Let's get that out the way. You was a karmic Tarot reader. Two, you didn't know what the fuck you was talking about. You didn't really have no real spiritual connection. And the bitch was convincing. I ain't gonna lie. I'm telling y'all, this is my experience. Okay? But when she made that motherfucking video and told everybody, I'm burning up all my shit, my crystals, my cards. You should have saw them bitches in a frenzy. Oh, God. What are we going to do? Oh, Lord. What are you saying? Better Y'all better do y'all research on these motherfuckers. I didn't have a problem. I wasn't scared because even though God was sending me through an initiation and showing me you know, more about what I was getting ready to do. He definitely gave me that confirmation that you're on the right path. So I didn't ever worry. I didn't shake in my boots or nothing like that because I had already knew where God was taking me, baby. And I do my research. I, I read up on shit. I don't just hop into shit and just be like, oh, I'm doing this now. Like, no, I study. I research. I, 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 I research the background history of what the fuck I'm getting into. And how it how it ties into my bloodline. So I know the fuck I am. So I never worried about that shit. But I'm just saying, a lot of people hop in this shit on some, you know, get rich or they think that shit gonna bring their person in and, it, and it's totally not it. It's really a job and I enjoy doing what I'm doing. That's why I laugh. I laugh a lot because I enjoy it. And then my spirit team, they funny. But I really enjoy doing this. You feel me? So, yeah, y'all, y'all, just do your research, okay? Do your research. <laughs> thank you, God. Right. Cosmic, thank you. But, yeah, that's just what it is, bro. That's too many. Shift your energy here. Some of y'all do need to balance your energy, shift it, meditate. This person, or this is this person here, meditating. Yeah, empowerment here. This person is getting amped up because they're about to make a, a big, powerful move towards you. Look, breakthrough. I cannot make this shit up. I cannot make this shit up. So, yeah, eight, hey, there is abundance here. Yeah, Eight of Wands is already out here. So this cannot be stopped. This is divinely guided, orchestrated. Look, make a wish. Didn't I tell you? I told you this person was praying for you. This person was asking God to save you for them. That's it, period. This person wants a new beginning with you. One is on this card. So yeah, like I said, their desires of their heart scared them. That's how y'all ended up in separation. Which is crazy, but I definitely, I can understand that. I can see that. Because, you know, like, I, I, I tell myself sometimes, I'm like, damn, my dreams and goals are so big that they scare me. Not that I fear, you know, taking action towards them, but they're so big that it's kind of far-fetched. But I know it's obtainable, but it scares me sometimes because I'm like, damn, I'm really aiming high as fuck. You feel me? And I do believe if God dropped all them blessings and, and, and all the, 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 the dreams and goals that I had have, have in mind on me right now, I wouldn't know what the fuck to do with that shit. I'd probably be like, oh, I ain't ready for that yet. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, it's just the same type of concept with this person. Look, make a decision. So this person is out of this indecisive energy and they're making a decision to a wants to come towards their baby because that's how they see you look higher ground yeah this person definitely wants to come to higher ground with you too though they want to take this connection to another level they want commitment they want loyalty they want long term here serious long term with the higher finger so yeah there's look open up your heart 
Oh, this person want to cuddle with you. They want some cuddle time. Yeah, it's a masculine in this picture. But he's in his astral form. So I definitely know this person's been dreaming to, about you. Having dreams about you. You're in this person's dream. But this person definitely could be astral traveling to you. Okay? So they could be astral traveling to you in your dreams. Or, you know, to you at night. You may feel this person's energy around you. They they are cuddling with you in their astral form. Oh, this person love you, baby. They feel like you they forever love. Oh, this so sweet. Oh, this so sweet. Look, renewal of peace. Look at this baby. That's y'all spirit baby. Y'all spirit baby ready. It's coming too. The seed is planted, but I feel like. You and this person need to come together physically or the seed will be planted and you will have this spirit, baby. Yeah, 13. Renewal of peace. I feel like this is going to be like a little bundle of joy for the both of y'all. So for some of y'all, it could be a pregnancy that actually brings y'all together, like officially. Like y'all may spontaneously, you know, indulge in adult activity together, make some love, and y'all fuck around and have a little spirit baby on the way before you know it, bro. Like, for real. This baby is going to be so beautiful, though. Like, y'all baby is going to be so beautiful. Boy or girl. Like, y'all little boy is going to look like a girl. People are going to be like, oh, he, she's so cute. Like, nah, it's a boy. Your, your son is going to be so pretty. Like, he's gonna, he's not gonna be handsome. He's gonna be pretty, okay? And you're gonna have a pretty little girl. But your son is gonna be, like, gonna have all the few features of, like, not saying they gonna look like a woman, because it's gonna be, like, you gonna tell, but they gonna have the long lashes, the hair, the skin. Like, this, this, this little boy gonna be pretty. And I'm gonna use my son, for example, because my son was a really beautiful baby like people thought my son was mixed my son is full black all oh, nigga you feel me his uh his motherfucking papa <laughs> they have Samoan blood in them somewhere okay but my son was really very beautiful like everybody was just like oh my god your son is so beautiful he looked mixed but he wasn't and he had this he went through so many complexions like he was light skinned red my son went through so many complexions but he was such a beautiful baby boy like i'm gonna show y'all this video i'm gonna show y'all a video because it's gonna give you a visual of what your child is going to look like in the future Let me see. Do I still got that video? It was like, damn, did I delete it? Hold on. I might have deleted that motherfucker. Maybe I did. Well, I'm a, um, oh, I might be up here. Hold on. <laughs> Where is that video? Little badass. Look at me going down memory lane with y'all and shit. Like, oh, look at my baby. I think I deleted it. Did I lose it? Let me see. I think I did. I'm going to show y'all that picture. I'm going to show y'all this picture. I couldn't find the video. But let me turn the brightness up on my phone. But this was my son. Let me, let me, hold on, because I don't need y'all trying to see what else is in there. But uh, this was my son when he was a baby. So this this could kind of be like what y'all little boy is going to look like. Like he's going to be a very beautiful or handsome little boy. Is this shit in here? I might have deleted that shit. I wanted y'all to see this video. Hold on, y'all. Bear with me if you don't mind. Just bear with me real quick. Let me see something. Okay, 
she was like, Y'all, I'm sorry. Hold on. I got to show y'all this video. Wait, wait, wait. I ain't going to hold y'all too much longer. I'm almost there. <laughs> All these pictures, bro. Hold on. <laughs> y'all probably like, bitch, hurry up. Smacking on this motherfucking gum. Oh, I know, y'all. Hold on. Where is it? It's gotta be after this. Hold on. Let me get this camera out. 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 I think I might have lost this motherfucker because I ain't never had this much. This motherfucker is hiding. Like, why? Why is it hiding now? <laughs> Damn. I might not even be able to find it, y'all, because I don't want to hold y'all up trying to find this fucking video. Wait, is it up here? Did I favorite it? I feel I thought I favored it. <laughs> y'all like damn bitch, you keep laughing, but we don't see no video. I'm sorry. I I'm sorry, y'all. I was just trying to find this video. Why the fuck did I delete it? Like what made me delete that shit? Maybe because I I don't know. It's it's pissing me off now because it's not doing what the fuck I needed to do. Yeah. But anyway, y'all son could be very fucking beautiful when you when you have a son with this person. Yeah, it's acting stupid as fuck now. So I ain't even gonna I ain't even gonna but yeah. I don't know why. Uh I don't know why I couldn't find that fucking video. Hold on, y'all. Let me try one more thing. And then I'm I'm going to let y'all go. I mean, I'm going to uh, get off of this. But it's something about your baby's eyes. Like, it's something about your baby's eyes. Or the baby will have their eyes. Like, I want y'all to see this video so bad. Let me slow down. Let me try to slow down because I'm trying. <sighs> going through these memories I'm like girl you was doing a lot a lot a lot of... where the fuck is this video at cause I'm <laughs> alright I'm about to give it up Yeah, I, I give up because they keep doing some weird shit. But anyway, y'all got a very beautiful son here. Yeah, it's almost 10 o'clock. Look, show your support here. So this person definitely is going to show you more support. They're going to have your back here. They didn't show you that in the past, but they're they're going to do this. They're going to make up for a whole lot. Like, they got a lot to make up for, and they're going to do it. Look, infinite blessings here. So 
So yeah, your person, I'm telling you, bro, they just want life with you. That's the blessing in itself. Being able to call you their person, their wife, their husband, or their girlfriend. I do want more children, but I don't want them like I don't I want to be married. Like I don't want to have no more children outside of wedlock like that shit dead as fuck like i'm not going through that shit no more like hell no nah. it was too much shit but if i get married and my husband wants another child then yeah but ecstatic bliss i'm telling you they feel love from their higher self now yeah journey to wholeness here so your person went on a spiritual journey to heal from within they were tired of masking the hurt this person wants to heal it like they want to be whole they want to be they want to be happy they want to be free matter of fact let me see hold on Did I put it in my mama's, uh, nah, that didn't mean. Did I send it to her? I think I did. Nah. Fuck it. I ain't gonna worry about it. Look, Mount, uh, Shasta here. I do feel like your person had a lot of karmic obstacles to uh, overcome. Okay, challenges that needed to happen that were faded for this person to ignite in their um, their higher self or have some type of light body activation here. Let me get the book though. But that's intuitively, intuitively what I'm getting from this card. But I do feel like your person has risen to the occasion or rose to the occasion. Your origins, the seed that make you what and who you are. Star being sacred power places, unexplained mystical phenomenon, intuitive messages and downloads, dreams and visions. So I was right. Like I said, bro. In order for your person to see and ignite and, and, and activate their light body energy, bro, their God body energy, they had to go through these lessons, this karma. And I just got a message from my Gemini. So heavy on the Gemini. Endless possibilities here. So your person definitely feels like the sky is not the limit. They feel like y'all are limitless. Okay, they feel like if if y'all, it's all about y'all y'all um, what do you call it um? Fuck, I ain't gonna say compatibility, but y'all definitely need to be on the same page, okay, for y'all manifestations to come through like effortlessly, and that's one thing your person did notice when y'all were not on the same page shit collapsed for this person but when y'all seem to find some balance with one another in the time that y'all spent that's when shit started to get better for this person now was it completely better no because this person still had blockages and, and challenges to overcome but the fact of the matter is they definitely see the difference in when when your, your presence was known and acknowledged and in, 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 in that situation with them versus what it was like when y'all were in separation or there was some type of imbalance between you and this person. It definitely showed. It was like evidence. So that's another um, um, uh, awakening your person went through is realizing that 
Shit, when 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 shit ain't right with you, it ain't shit gonna go right. It's kind of like happy wife, happy life type energy, whether you're a man or a woman. But this is because you're truly divine. You come from royalty. So, of course, you know, this person is going to absolutely immediately see and feel, you know, when you have taken back your energy, when you have taken a step back and you have detached yourself and, and, released, your, and released yourself from this situation because there's no longer any type of protection or divine, um, I ain't gonna even say that. It's just like y'all kind of got control of shit spiritually. And I do feel like you keep yourself in high vibrations because you know this yourself. You are very powerful. And I do feel like for a lot of y'all, that's why y'all remain like humble and meek individuals because of the power that you hold within. It's like, I have to learn how to embody this energy without like becoming out of control. Yeah. Because you know that in a blink of an eye, really whatever you say or think can happen. Like you've seen it. It's been evident. Yeah. So you're very careful with how you will your energy. Like it's just, it just is what it is. Like, God has really chosen y'all. Like, I don't know exactly, like, what your mission is, but whatever God placed over you as far as your spiritual mission is very powerful, okay? And God saw you fit for it. Like, you may sometimes feel like, God, why do I always got to go through the roughest shit? It's not that you always have to go through the roughest shit. It's that God knows you're going to get through it. That's just period, point blank. It's a test for you to know who you are, not to prove to God that you're one of his strongest soldiers. That's not it, because God already knows you're one of his strongest soldiers. It's to show you that you, you are strong. Show yourself, because we God knows us better than we know ourselves at the end of the day. So that lesson was for you too. Look, and it provided you freedom. And it's, this person is freeing themselves. So you are the light for this person. Whether you acknowledge it, want to acknowledge it, admit it or not. Balance forces, like I said. Earth star chakra, initiation, like I said, bro. You, you were like, you were a test. You were a spiritual test for this person. You were what they prayed for, but you were also a test. Are you ready for exactly what you prayed for? Are you ready for the desires of your heart? Because it's right here in front of you. Yeah. Oof. I got chills. So for sure, balance forces. This person is balancing themselves from within. So it's causing balance in their physical manifestation, law of attraction. Yeah, this person's chakras are aligning. They're, they're, they're working on remaining balanced. If nothing, in their, nothing else in their life, they're working on remaining balanced and having a clear, coherent mind state to make clear, coherent, healthy decisions. That's the start, because I'm going to tell you right now, this person wasn't in that energy when y'all was together in the past. That's why y'all clashed a lot. And that's why your person would get more, uh, more so offended with you when you would hold them accountable and you would speak, speak that truth that they needed to hear. Not what they wanted to hear, but what they needed to hear. And it kind of hurt them in a way because you were the person they put in high honor. So it's like, damn. If the person that I'm holding in high honor tells me that I'm fucking up or or that I got work to do or to hold me accountable for my shit, I'm not I'm not ready. I'm not good enough. Like I, I need to back up. So it was really not you. It was them. Like it was this person needed to go through that life lesson. Look, shine your light. You illuminated this person. You could be a mermaid. You could have mermaid vibes. This is the uh, Lemuria deck. So there could be some type of connection to Lemuria for you. Okay. Um, I just heard uh, uh, Yamaye. So there could definitely be some type of like real life healing. But uh, Yamaye is, is the mother. Is the mothering energy. So there's a lot of healing here. There could have been some mother issues your person needed to heal from. Especially dealing with women. Like I said, bro, it, it gets deeper than just this person acting out and being a hoe. That's what so many people be focused on, bro. 
And then when you get a, get a real gifted, anointed person like me coming to shed light on it, they don't want to hear it or fuck that. that. They did what they did type energy. Like, okay, bitch, you did what you did to a lot of motherfuckers too. But somebody had to have grace on you too, bitch. Let's not, let's not, because somebody had to have grace with me too. I'm going to keep it 100. I ain't perfect. I ain't never been perfect. I've had to be forgiven and I've had to forgive. So let's all keep that shit in mind. Ain't nobody perfect. And just because a motherfucker don't exude hurt on the outside don't mean they not needing that 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 healing and that nurturing on, on, on a soul level. And if you know you're a healer, you know sometimes the tasks are going to be tedious. That's just what a healer does, bro. It's not easy work to be a healer or a light worker or an earth angel or a god or a god, godly being walking around here raising vibrations and healing motherfuckers. Because everybody don't want to be healed. So, but you were the light. Like I said, bro, you the star. Radical expansion. See, when this, this shit happens so fast, not just for your person, but for the people around them. To the point where people started side-eyeing your person. Like, who you been around? You not talking the same. This ain't the same motherfucker we was talking to. What you been doing? Who told you that type shit? And it's really not anybody telling them anything. It's just God working through this person, working with this person, healing this person from the inside out. And now God is revealing to the to, to your person and these people like, y'all don't resonate with this person no more. This person don't resonate with y'all. They not different. They're better. And these people can't accept that because it happens so fast. It's like, ooh. Who was this? Like, bro, two weeks ago, you was just saying something else. You was saying you didn't give a fuck about love. You know what I'm saying? That type of shit. Now you're saying you want to get married and you want a house with a wife and some kids and some shit. Okay, bitch, that's they dream. That's, that's what they want. You find your own happiness. Some of these people, your person it was around, was living their life through your person, which is weird as fuck. So, yeah, your person started to slowly but surely walk away, ate a cup that ass. Because why you so mad? Yeah, I might have said fuck these hoes two weeks ago. But God works in miraculous ways. Now I want love. I see God, bro. I got God in my heart. I know love on a divine level. So I want to experience that on a physical level. There's nothing wrong with that. So, yeah, karmic motherfuckers just ain't resonating with your person no more because they've grown outside of their comfort zone or whatever bond they had or connection they had with these people, both spiritually and emotionally. They don't resonate anymore. Their conversations are not the same. Like I said, they're, they're like, who is this? What you been doing? Like, you think you know everything now? Like, what you been reading? Like, if anything, if you was my homie and you spent some knowledge on some positive shit, I want to know how the fuck can I get in that energy too? How the fuck can I empower and improve my life? The way you improve yours, considering I'm your homie. And if we've had a long-term, long-standing friendship, you feel me? Then I, I definitely want to know. Because I've seen you grow. What's up? Can I get in that energy with you? No. These people want control. And that's all they ever wanted with your person. And to live their life through this person. Because this person is a divine being. Whether y'all want to admit it or not. Emperor or Empress energy. They are a divine masculine or a divine feminine. Who is chosen. So at the end of the day. Whatever God has already set in place is not going to return void. And that's what people need to realize. God don't care how much he got to scratch out and redo. He's God. He do this all day. That's his, that's, that's playtime for him. That's small fry shit. Okay? So regardless of how long it took this person or what it took this person to go through, they were going to get it. They just got it quicker than a lot of people probably would have you know, gave to this person because a lot of y'all, they thought your person was slow. They thought, oh, this motherfucker green as hell. You know what I'm saying? Like, we tell them, look, look, I, tell, I, I bet you I tell this nigga don't fuck with that bitch. They ain't gonna fuck with that bitch no more. And it did. It worked in the past. Hey, bro, uh-uh, you don't need to fuck with that bitch no more. What's up, bro? Nah, bro, the vibes is off. I don't even like what they doing. Uh, you know, oh, okay, bro, say less. It's not like that no more. 
Now your person is using their own ver uh, own um their own um intuition. They're seeing from their third eye. So it's like, I see you too now. Like you ain't no good for me either, nigga. <laughs> Hey, they don't like what this person has become. Real life shit. Yeah, whoever they was fucking with was broke. She said, bitch, you ride on your knees, bitch. I ride on my toes. So some of y'all, y'all person could be out here speaking on your little, you know, your sex game, Queen and King of Wands. I'm just saying that it's like you got that good pussy. Like Cash Doll said, you got that good pussy. <laughs> you got that good pussy, bitch. <laughs> you finna be dancing on the beat like, <laughs> this money <laughs> nah, 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 boo, boo. you can't get no dm dick bitch y'all hoes man he cut that dick off that's what it really is or she cut that poom poom off from that nigga they ain't getting none of that sweet stuff ain't that what uh motherfucking jody said on uh <laughs> uh look never again i told you <laughs> bitch I ain't getting no dick I said, I ain't, bitch, you ain't getting none of this no more. Yeah, never again, bitch. Yeah. But yeah, cut that, cut that. Yeah, so it was definitely, it could have been some sex magic going on too. If this person is no longer having sex with this energy here. Yeah, the queen of wands here could have been something sexual with this person. If there was some sex magic being done, she can't do it no more because your person ain't fucking her. The shit backfires. Seven of Wands. They don't even desire this bitch. You don't even, they don't even look the same to this person no more. They not attractive or nothing. This person's sitting up here having an epiphany. Like, what the fuck was I thinking? Like, what the fuck, bitch? I don't even, you not even my type. <laughs> yeah, it's a lie. And this bitch hate it. Like, what you mean I ain't your type? <laughs> Just like I said, bitch, you not my type. <laughs> Sex magic ain't working. You don't know I me. Mean? Options are kept open here. This person feel like you got your options open, bro. I'm telling you. Overstep boundaries here. This person know they crossed the line with you. They do. Especially with the third party situation. So your person could have kept, they, like I said, they did. Of course they kept their options open in the past. They overstepped. That was karma too. Because, bitch, you're not supposed to put my divine feminines or divine masculines in no third parties. I don't give a fuck. That's not real true emperors and empresses, especially a high priestess or a hierophant, do not belong in third party situations, period. There is no other options. It's it's either them or, or nothing. You cannot involve a, a, a true royal being in a third party situation. That incurred instant karma for this person. I ain't gonna care. Look, influences and distractions. I cannot make it up. And that's where they fucked up. But they want you. Look, this shit is inevitable though. It's, 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 it's written. Divine timing. Y'all are connected to the infinite, the universe. Look, it's all in that period. I told you this person is dropping that mask. Show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. You knew that you, you saw the real divine masculine or divine feminine behind the mask this person was, you know, trying to put up. And I feel like part of you, that's part of the reason why you gave this person more chances than they deserved in the past before you walked away is because you really saw this person for who they were. But God wasn't finna let you be no doormat or no third party, period. So. Well, Sierra, well, thank God that you got your conf uh, confirmation, my love. Yeah, what else, Holy Spirit? What else does this person want to let them know? Wrong time and place. I told you. I love love. I'm just fucking bad at it. Trying to get rid of all these bad habits. Yeah. This person has some addictions. 
whether it was to drugs, drinking, sex, whatever. It could have been anything. Overworking for some of y'all could have been a could have been a um a job situation, co-workers, you know how them bitches get up in there, especially if they work in a warehouse or warehouse setting or they work for General Motors. Somebody could work for General Motors, Ford, something like that, bro. I've been in those places and when I say you would think motherfuckers will honor their marriage in that motherfucker and they don't. So there was a lot of temptation here. A lot of, yeah, this person dropped the ball on you. They fumbled. I just heard Trey songs. I fumbled your heart. Should have let go of my past for you. You did everything I asked of you. Travel across the something if I asked you to. I'm bad for you. This person was bad for you at the time, but you, you were a catalyst though. You were. Look, some people never change. I'm telling you. This person is, is leaving these people who kept them in this energy behind, bro. Everybody can't go where you're going and your person is realizing that. Going into this ascension and this spiritual promotion type of energy. They realize if I'm going to be the emperor or the empress, I have to surround myself with the same type of emperor and empress energy. It's more than one emperor and empress out here in the world. So your person is like, I got to be who I want to attract. Which is you. So, like, it just, it all falls into play, bro. And this karmic is not changing. They're not changing. They're still on the same shit. They're still doing the same old bullshit. It's like a never-ending story with this karmic. Look, you love me. Look, this person know you love him. Y'all been cleansing and purifying your space, too. Polo Santa and Sage. Or your person has. They definitely want to purify and heal this connection. They get rid of all the negativity. Period, point blank. Somebody got stung. Jellyfish. This bitch got an STD. Karmic. There's a karmic. This bitch got an STD. Your person ain't never going back to that bitch. Look, inconsistencies. And a bitch, this is a bitch who, who talk a good game, but they not really about that life. They talk about it. This is somebody who definitely is one of them bitches that'll start some shit and call the police on you. After. They, they, they done started some shit and you ready to whoop they ass. Now they calling the police. I'm calling the police. Hear that. Chop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Y'all see that shit? Y'all see that shit? This ain't that bitch turn my waffle. Ain't that some shit? Bitch. You weak. You a weak ass bitch. You really a weak. You over there like, ugh, shut this bitch up. Bitch, I'll smack that candle in your mouth. Bitch, swallow that, bitch. Swallow them flames, ho. Chew that wax. Bitch, you a weak ass bitch, like I said. That's all these Cormac hoes know how to do. Throw magic and call the police, bitch. Weak ass, weak ass, weak ass bitch. You a weak ass, weak ass, weak ass bitch. And if they wanted your nigga, they'd have him, bitch. The fuck? You ain't keeping shit. Y'all hoes is funny. <laughs> Y'all hoes funny. That's crazy. Like I said. So, y'all, that's confirmation right there. This bitch a police ass bitch. But you got STDs, though. You running around here burning niggas and shit. Probably don't even know who your baby daddy is. Get your shit in line, baby. You got you you got you got bigger fish to fry, literally. And and one of them is in your panties. In your panties. In your damn panties. Yeah, bitch. In your panties. Go check them. Yeah, that discharge, bitch. That's what you need to be worried about. Inconsistencies. That shit green as fuck, bitch. Your coochie itching on the outside and shit. Little bumps and shit. Them ain't razor bumps, bitch. Oh, I shave. That's just a razor bump. No, bitch. That's herpes. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, you got syphilis, bitch. Go get that shit fixed. That's crazy, bro. Y'all this funny. Google was talking. That's crazy, Deja. 
They be picking up on my shit too, and I don't be asking them for shit. Look, you moved on. I'm telling you, this person think you got a third party. Or you just moved on. Like I said, bro, they either feel like you moved on when you left them behind. And, and, and they got in this catch-up energy. Okay? And they felt like you, you know. <laughs> they did. They lost hope. For others of y'all, this motherfucker know you got a third party. <laughs> and they saying get rid of that motherfucker. Look, miscommunication. I'm telling you, there was a lot of lies. A lot of false accusations, a lot of organization and group activity, like a community literally came together and tried to literally destroy you for real. And it caused a miscommunication between you and this person because they were already feeling inferior because they weren't ready for the, their own desires. They weren't ready. So it made it easy for these people to come in and manipulate the shit. All they had to say, well, yeah, that, I saw that bitch. She was talking to another nigga and shit. She was all up on the nigga and shit. Like, oh, what the fuck? And this nigga believed it. Or this bitch. You outgrew each other. I'm telling you. This person felt like you had left them behind, bro. They did. They literally did. But now that they are seeing from their higher self, they feel like this is the perfect time. And your person has outgrown these karmic relationships, just period. Look, miscommunication, I'm telling you. So there was definitely a miscommunication between you and this person. And they feel it is worth it, okay? They feel like you, this connection is worth it. Yeah, you didn't mean it. You didn't want to, and they know this now. It's like God is revealing all of this to this person. You didn't mean it. You didn't want to walk away. You feel me? You didn't want to let this person go, but you had to. And now they seen it. So it's an understanding now where there was a miscommunication. There is now clarity and understanding, especially with the Ace of Swords being out here. So this person know you did what you had to do to protect your heart and, and allow this person to grow and mature and become the best version of themselves. Like sometimes you have to let go and let people be free, bro. They have to experience. Look, pride keeps us apart. So, like I said, pride, ego, arrogance, all that shit was a hindrance for y'all. Second option, and I'm telling you, you were nobody's second option. This person wanted you, but they definitely had you in a third-party situation. At least they thought until you walked away and you showed this motherfucker you got more self-respect and self-love for yourself. Then they probably thought because they probably felt like you would love overrides everything with you. Wouldn't well, know. You are a person of balance. Look, balance forces. You are a person who is balanced. So as much as I love you, if I have to let you go, then that's what it's gonna be. And you ain't nobody's option. You you the you are the option. The fuck? And your person is, you know, coming to this realization like you're the one. I, I hear you, Ezra. You just ask God for clarity, baby. Pray on it. Look, I am their light. <laughs> and look at these baby shoes. Oh, y'all about to have a baby. If you can conceive, or I did hear adoption. Okay, so there's about to be some type of conception or adoption here. Y'all are going to adopt a baby or something. Okay, adoption maybe, uh, or you're going to adopt, you're going to have bonus children here. But I see y'all having a baby. I am their life. This person sees you as their life. You see those baby shoes? What is this? Uh, a bottle or something like that? Them ain't baby shoes. Them is lightning bugs. Them motherfuckers look like baby shoes to me. So yeah, y'all get ready to have a baby. Or there's a baby that is going to come into play. But those are lightning bugs. Them, them look like baby shoes to me. So, yeah, I am their light. You are this person's light, and they have become the light. So, yeah, this person is the sun now. Oh, they're in their masculine energy, divine masculine energy, for sure. Someone has unmet needs. You. This person wants to fulfill you. 
not that you aren't fulfilled, but they want to give you romance. They want to be the one to give you romance in your life, give you love and affection. Destined soul ties. I told you. Okay, so there were some karmic lessons that needed to be learned, some karmic soul ties that needed to be broken. But you and this person are destined to have some type of soul connection. There will be a motherfucking return. Six of cups. Can't make it up, baby. I just turned on, baby. I'm trying to give it to you, uh, baby. Uh, 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 uh. Look, engagement. Your life is ascending to a higher level of commitment, like the fuck I said. Let yourself sparkle and shine. You are guided to be bold and show your bigger than life side to the world, baby. They want to show you off. They want to show everybody. This my woman. This is my man. Your mommy. And now I'm gonna tell it to the whole world and say I'm your girl. And you're my man. Promise to love you the best I can. Said I've been there, done it all around. After all that, this is what I felt. Nobody wants to be alone. Hey, nobody want to be alone. Look, engagement at the bottom of the deck, baby. They're on that usher flow. Take it nice and slow. It's seven o'clock on the top. I'm in my drop top cruising the streets. Yeah, I got a real pretty, pretty little thing that's waiting for me. <laughs> I pull up anticipating. Good luck if you don't keep me waiting. I got plans to put my hands in places I've never seen. Girl, you know what I mean. Let me take her to a place with lots of gear. Y'all can have a date night. They probably gonna pull up at 7 o'clock. <laughs> Look, <laughs> divine life purpose. Trust the signs in your inner guidance which are leading you to fulfillment. Told you they're in their purpose. Told you. Look, clearing negativity too. Release negativity from within or around you. So if you don't believe this person is healing, this definitely ain't for you. Whether this is new love or you healing to manifest new love in. If you don't believe this is you, it's not going to happen. You got to have faith and know. Like you got to know you've been putting in the work for this shit to resonate. And that's another thing people fail to realize in tarot. You have to be putting in the work for this shit to resonate. You cannot sit there and expect shit to just happen just because you feel like you deserve it or the divine has shown you a vision of you and this person. There is healing. There is work that needs to be done behind the scenes in order to manifest that. So if you're not putting in the work, it's never going to resonate. But if you know that you know that you know you've been putting the work in and it, it's going to resonate, period, point blank. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. See, this person coming to let you in. Come here, baby. Come here. Come, come get in daddy's arms. Come, come sit on daddy's lap. Let me talk to you real quick. Come here, baby. Get real close. Yeah, just like that. Get comfortable. So, I know I fucked up. I ain't been the best person to you. I know. I owe you a whole lot. But, baby, I'm here. And I want to know, you know, if you find it within your heart to forgive me so that we can move on together as one because I see you in my forever life. Ooh, they see you in their forever life, baby. Oh, you're going to be like, okay, daddy. <laughs> yes, look, so. Hey, what is she doing in his fucking lap or at least it looked like she in his lap but that's how y'all gonna be that's how i saw it in my third eye that's crazy yes this is your soulmate make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take that's crazy <laughs> told you you're gonna be like okay <laughs> look at your ass I missed you. I'm so glad you got it together because I didn't want to have to leave you behind. <laughs> Look, children, told you, children could be a factor, could be a bitter ass baby mama trying to hope shit. Maybe your baby daddy in your energy. Okay, maybe you got a bitter ass baby daddy in your energy mad because 
you was the one not to chase this motherfucker. Like, okay, shit. I'm not chasing you to be a father, nigga. <laughs> y'all baby daddy hate y'all. Y'all, y'all independent. Y'all ain't codependent. Somebody, somebody baby daddy hate the fuck out of you for that. Like, what? You ain't calling. You ain't drama filled. You ain't worried about who they fucking, dating, marrying. You worried about your own bag and your kids. You paying your bills. You you got your priorities in line. They like, how the fuck this bitch do all this shit without me? Just like that, bitch, without you. The fuck? This motherfucker don't want to want to see you happy either. They want you to be on their coattail. Some of y'all, this person could have multiple baby mamas. And these bitches just, oh my God, they fight over this motherfucker. Fight. You like, I ain't doing none of that shit. I ain't doing none of that. Either you gonna, either it is or it ain't. Either you gonna be here or you not. I ain't arguing. I ain't calling you, blowing you up. I ain't pulling up. I'm not doing none of that shit. You know what to do. Do it. Like, simple. They don't like that you're a baby mama who simplifies shit. You are a problem solver. It's weird. It's weird to this person. They don't like that shit. Like, what? You be figuring shit out. You're not a damsel in distress. Your kids look good, smell good, healthy and shit. This nigga hate you. And it could be a baby mama. For some of y'all, it's your baby mama mad that you actually can support your children. You, not, you don't want them. You know, it's not one of them things where the baby daddy begging for the baby mama. Like, it's not that. You're a karmic. You're just that. Yeah, karmic baby mother, baby father. And bitch, I don't want no parts. You mad because I'm winning. Yeah, they mad because you winning. You out here looking like the shit. You hear me? Some of that family is even speaking on your glow up. And it pisses them off. Like, you ain't happy your baby mama's successful, nigga? What's wrong with you? What is your real deal? Yeah, somebody family like, nigga, what's your real deal? What's your real deal with that baby mama or your baby mama? Because we ain't seeing what you seeing. This bitch don't call you. Sorry, not sorry. You know, if you take offense, but this is how I'm channeling the energy. This bitch don't call you. She don't fuck you. <laughs> she don't beg you. She ain't flooding your line. You know, calling you back to back, texting and shit. What's wrong with you? It's like, I heard this is, this is the most peaceful baby mama I've ever seen. And it grinds your person's gears to hear these people talk about you like that. Like, ugh. No, but really, what's your problem, bitch? Like, for real. This is weird. As a father, you should be proud to have a, a mother uh, of your children who is in that type of energy. You gonna know your, your kids gonna, gonna, gonna already be good. This motherfucker just bitter as hell. A bitter baby mama, bitter baby daddy. Mad because you left their ass behind. And for some of y'all, these motherfuckers could have more than you. But they envy you. They're jealous of you because you made it without them. You didn't need them. Like, you took your shit on the chin. You charged it to the game. You said, okay, fuck it. I'm a boss up. I got kids. They, they, these, my, these are mine. They mine at the end of the day. They mine. I brought them in this world. I pushed these motherfuckers out. C-section, however it happened. They mine. They came out of my womb. They mine. They gonna forever be good. Period. Period. I'll sacrifice myself for my kids. Like, what the fuck? Like, this nigga don't know you You like an OG energy. Like, bitch, you don't you ain't even really know me like that. Obviously. Because who the fuck was you playing with? <laughs> oh, shit. Everybody getting karma. It's, it's karma giving time around this motherfucker. Shit. Clear course. Let, let yourself feel all your emotions. Your entire rainbow spectrum of feelings is sending you important messages of guidance here. So this person is definitely like acknowledging the good and bad feelings. They're no longer trying to mask themselves for people. That put them in a fucked up position and a mental state. No, they're not doing it anymore. Progress, not perfection. Don't compare yourself to others or judge yourself. Instead, focus up on how far you've come and all that you have learned here. So yeah, your person definitely is taking time to acknowledge their growth here. And I feel like energetically you are doing the same thing. And I feel like that's part of their motivation because they can feel that. Like even if you're not there physically, they can feel that burst of 
motivation coming from you because you are exuding a very inspirational and motivating energy your damn self you motivating you right now you inspiring you right now you pouring into you you seeing the beauty within within you and, and, and around you who you are like it's just a whole glow up and it's like giving your person energy and motivation like damn you know my person is really beautiful let me try to get up in that same fucking energy you feel me Stay strong in your faith. A positive outcome is dependent on you keeping a positive mindset. Like I said, they have released pessimistic mindsets, behavioral patterns, thought processes. It's over with. The old them is dead and gone. This is a new person. Overall energy, natural beauty, and authenticity. Be yourself as God made you. As God made you naturally attractive and lovable inside and out. They are mirroring you, baby. So you need to be giving yourself a pat on the back. For real. If you resonate with that, give yourself a pat on the back, baby. Because I'm proud of you. That shit was not easy to embody this type of high vibrational energy. Let alone step into your divine life purpose like that. Like a real OG. Your soul is ancient anyway. So you've been doing this shit many lifetimes. But... Pat yourself on the back this lifetime, bro. You deserve that, that recognition. Yeah, you are very successful or in a very successful energy. You're also being recognized by the divine as well. The divine is recognizing you. Look at your, look at that horse. Like, yeah, you deserve all this, all the love, all the accolades. Yeah, and you're progressing here with the chariot. So it's causing your person to progress as well. Like, this is what happens when your divine counterpart is really your divine counterpart and you actually doing the healing, okay? Because some, some people be claiming people as their divine counterpart and they don't be shit but karmics and then they get mad at the real readers like me and they want to attack us when things don't go the way that they heard in the reading because maybe that was not your person. That was somebody who was claiming as your person that was not your person. You feel me? So, yeah. Let me drink some water. Then we're going to get some last, uh, get some Oracle messages. And then we're going to close this out. I appreciate each and every one of y'all for, uh, tuning in. They said once they hit it, you ain't, what do you say? I'm going to hit it. I'm going to have you, something Chris Brown said. But they gonna have you wishing that was your nigga. If you let them hit it one time, if you get it, if you let them one time, y'all don't fuck around and end up pregnant. I'm telling you, there's some pregnant energy in this motherfucker. Like, and I don't think it's gonna be planned. I think it's gonna be spontaneous. Cause spontaneous did come out. I think it I don't think it's gonna be something either one of you planned. I think it's just gonna happen naturally. I think y'all are just y'all have a heavy attraction towards one another. The chemistry is there. The love is definitely there. Ace of Cups, Two of Cups already came out. Six of Cups. You and this person definitely had a past life together. Okay? Yeah. This bitch going to... This karmic bitch going to jail. Your person, for some of y'all, was in jail. I'm telling you. Justice. Yeah. Some of y'all persons was definitely locked up. Yeah. Somebody set your person up. Five of Wands. Yup, Karmic or Karmic, these motherfuckers, y'all ops, the motherfuckers who, who rooting against y'all, but it's cool because like I said, everybody getting karma, judgment. It's judgment day, bitch. Everybody going to get they day. Everybody's going to be judged. And these motherfuckers are being judged for their malicious intent to destroy you and this person's connection. Somebody really set your person up to go to jail. Literally, it was by a Karmic, which could have been this baby mama. This bitch finna go to jail. See how karma work, bitch? If it's, if it's love, I want to drown. DFMU. Who said that? Jamie, thank you so much. I love y'all, bruh. Y'all don't even know. I be wanting to cry on this motherfucker. Like, y'all don't even know. Let me tell y'all something. My whole life, I have been a provider for people. So, when people give to me, it hit different. Because it's hard for me to ask. So, when y'all be giving to me like that, 
and showing love like that, that shit make me real life feel away. Like, I've never really had people like give to me or just bless me out of nowhere. Like, of course, I've had people, you know, here and there in the outside world, you know, do little stuff for me. But to constantly feel and see that love, bro, that shit be making my heart chakra skip a beat. Okay, real life shit. Cause it's so hard for me to receive i just got into the energy of being able to accept and not just always being a giving giving energy so i love y'all i'm really about to cry i love y'all for that that shit mean a lot to me i've always had to do everything on my own like i've never asked for handouts or none of that like i always just was like god if you create the opportunity for me i'm gonna make it count and i always did that i live by that and so when i have y'all come on here and you know show your gratitude and your love for me you know it just it just hits different bro because y'all don't have to do that shit Y'all don't have to give anything. Like, y'all just really don't even know how much y'all help heal me. So, just as much as I'm out here giving to y'all, y'all pour it right back into me. Whether it's monetarily, energetically, you know, supporting me, understanding me, that shit goes a long way. So, I just want y'all to know, like, I'm very grateful and I love y'all. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Earth Empress. I appreciate you, baby. I love y'all. So, yeah. I can't wait any longer here. Told you that's that tower. They can't wait. I just heard, I don't want to wait. I always pick that shit up. For our lives to be over. Look, run away with me. This person think about eloping. For some of y'all, y'all could fuck around and elope. You gonna fuck around and get pregnant in Vegas or some shit. You gonna come to Vegas to get married and leave pregnant like a motherfucker. <laughs> I'm with chow. Head ass. <laughs> Look, blow me up, call or text. Yeah, it's about to be a lot of communication going on between you and this person. Y'all gonna come back and tell the world y'all married. Fuck. I think I caught a mermaid. I told you. You rare. I'm telling you, even they homeboys want want, want want one like you. These homeboys don't want you. They want one like you. Like, where you find them at? It's a mermaid. You don't find them anywhere. It's like rare. It's a rare catch. Mermaids are rare to be seen. We only expose ourselves when we want to be exposed. I see that you've been through it, but you never let it break you. Like I said, you handled this shit like a real OG. Gangster shit. You an OG spiritual gangster, bro. You could be a gangster in real life. Look, this shit happening really fucking soon. Very fucking soon. I'm going to make up for every tear that you shed. Okay? So this person plans on making up for those tears and that heartbreak energy. You they baby. They're just going to have to watch our love. Your person said y'all got an audience. They know that. They want to give them a show. Let's do it. Let's go. Me and you against the world. Yeah. Chris Brown fabulous. Me and you, me and you against the world. Look, I can hear the angels now. I'm telling you. I just want to kiss you. I'm telling you. They just want to. It's not even so much as, you know, having, you know, intercourse with you. It's more so about the intimacy with you. And there are, there are multiple forms of intimacy. It's not just physical intercourse. People need to understand that. I make you come in your dreams. Make you come in your jeans. I told you this person been in your dreams. Fucking the shit out you. Y'all in the 5D getting the end. I'm talking about back to back. Eight of wands type shit. <laughs> That's why this spirit baby just chilling. They happy now. They're like, oh yeah, it's just that time. We finna be here. Look, 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 look. We finna be here. I'm becoming a better man or woman for myself. I'll be better for you this time. Y'all spirit may be happy like, yes, finally. I ain't got to kick these bitches ass no more. 
flawless natural beauty. So your person, like I said, you're your flawless natural beauty here. Yeah, your love is on repeat all in my head. You're the strongest man I've ever known. I love it when you talking your shit to me. So this person love your little smart ass mouth. When you get mad or bratty. I just picked up on that bratty energy. So you could be a, a little brat and shit. You get to popping off your shit. They like that shit. Come here with your spoiled ass. Sit on my lap. You thought I didn't get it for you, did you? I did. I shouldn't give it to you. You over there cheesing and shit like, you do love me. <laughs> I love you too. Sorry, baby. <laughs> I love you. <ya>. Patooey. <laughs> Patooey. between us. <laughs> the Earth Empress. Earth Empress, I promise I don't be trying to. But that's what it is. They be they be knowing. Look, oh, oh my God. What that say? <laughs> twin flames, baby. So yeah, some of y'all, this y'all motherfucking twin flame. Do you hate me? Yeah, it came out anyway. Do you hate me? It took me a while, but I finally see. Their third eye is open here. They were extorting me. Yeah, somebody set your person up. Blackmail, extortion. <laughs> Sonny, shut up. The high priestess here. So yeah, this person definitely has some type of deep inner knowing about y'all connection. They definitely know the truth. This person is following their intuition. They are now in union with their higher self. Their 3D has now met and merged with their higher self. Lord created me a clean heart and renewing me a right spirit, connecting to God. So there definitely was some type of deliverance had in this connection here. Sit the fuck down. Shit. One more card from this deck, Holy Spirit. I be cracking myself up, bro. I promise. Like, my intrusive thoughts are a motherfucker. I know how to get to you, baby. So, the only way they can get to you is by what? Operating in their higher self. So, they finally learn their lesson. My ex envies how deep my love is for you. Who was this bitch saying she or he know me? So yeah, somebody was out here lying on your name. And it was an ex. Because the ex envies how deep their love is for you. I'm telling you. So y'all did exactly what the fuck y'all supposed to do. Keep them out. Don't let them infiltrate. Your person is blocking these bitches left and right, bro. They can't get in. prosperity you are mind-blowing yeah you are abundance you are the epitome of love and abundance to this person bro y'all twin flame should i say look <laughs> you god's gift this shit keep coming out yeah the right people support my connection with you like i said bro they asking i need one of them i need one of them how you doing to them? How you doing to them? Niggas like, I need one of them. I need one of them. What is that song by Eric Bellinger? I can't think of the name of that song. I need one of them. I need one of them. How you doing to them? How you doing to them? Yeah. 
them niggas like he like he said them niggas like I need one of them I need one of them yeah you you the one the star yeah when you shine I shine look cherry this is definitely your twin flame coming to get your ass I just heard I'm coming back to get it tell them niggas that is mine <laughs> tell them niggas that is there they coming what you gonna do bitch when I pull up, you can pipe down. I'm um, really that. Look at this shit. Do y'all see this shit? Do y'all literally see this shit? Please tell me y'all see this shit. Bro, this is too much. Uh, too much. It's aligning too much for me. It's just kind of, it's like, like, I don't care how long I've been doing this shit. It's still so amazing to me how Holy Spirit just confirms back to back everything that I speak as he uses me as a vessel to speak through me. It's like, okay, they don't believe what you say. Okay, well, let's show them then. And it just, it's so amazing. It's so amazing. And I thank God because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be able to do this shit. I ain't gonna cat. But yeah, when they pull up, you can pipe down. They really that. <laughs> you, you know what's up. You get all extra soft. It's something about you I'm in love with. Yeah, they in love with you, period. They wouldn't have said in love if they didn't mean it. Anything else, Holy Spirit? <laughs> no, I can't play around with your ass. No, I can't play around with you. I'm on your ass again. Told you, that's that chariot. This twin flame is on your ass. Okay? Twin flame for sure. This motherfucker said, where is you going? <laughs> you give me a superpower. Everything I own belongs to you too. Look, the hierophant. Yeah, this person is marrying you. That's that's marriage talk. Everything I own belongs to you too. Yeah, they, they put it on a make them want to marry me. Look, it was all in divine timing. You put it on a make them want to marry me. Dang. And not just sexually either. I'm talking about you put it on this person in all aspects. Romantically, friendship. Uh, romantically, platonically, spiritually, mentally, physically, you definitely did that, but it was more of the, the, the spiritual healing that made this person want you like that. Put it on a mask and want to marry. These hoes be thinking shit ain't gonna happen for us, but it is. You are the apple of my eye and the gateway to my soul. Told you this is twin flame for sure. Twin, heavy on the twin flame. <laughs> the epitome of love like I said this is how this person sees you feel about you you are empowering Ooh, definitely twin flame shit high level soulmate type of love like Boog and Nipsey forever love infinite didn't I tell y'all that I told y'all that bro told y'all pussy fairy you're deserving that I can't deny by Janae Aiko superpowers now bitch you give me your superpower <laughs> you gonna be light on your feet you want some eggs you want some bacon what do you want you want some shrimp and grits you want some collard greens mac and cheese cornbread ain't that what she said on uh wait until exhale what you cook oh i didn't do nothing i just i just cooked a little fried chicken ham greens collard greens mac, mac and cheese sweet potato pie head ass you got the original drip. Your ass be in the kitchen whipping. And if you haven't, you about to be. I want to get better with you. Like I said, they want to get better with you.
You better talk to him nicely. Ah! Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. I'm closing out with this. Done wearing a mask and re uh, resisting our connection. And then the closing messages from your person. Would you marry me? Would you have me as your better half? There is a proposal coming and engaging in here. Definitely a lot of romantic feelings, but this person is definitely gaining some type of strength to come towards you with the proposal, baby. So congratulations to you all who are going to receive some type of proposal and engagement. Make sure y'all email me pictures of the ring. I mean, everything. I want to see record that shit tell this homeboy to send you the video because moon want to see all that shit i want to see it i want to see it but this is what i have for y'all i hope that y'all enjoyed this reading i hope that it gave y'all some clarity some insight and some confirmation whatever you came here seeking i pray that you received it okay um i love y'all so much I appreciate each and every one of y'all for liking the video, tapping in with your girl, spending time with me, okay? Because you took time out of your day and night to tune in with me, and I appreciate that. If you have not liked the video, go ahead and like the video for your girl, okay? It's not too late to do so. Um, and if you haven't subscribed and you like my vibe, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, baby. And when you do, hit that notification bell so you'll always be notified. Or so they say, whenever I go live or post up on this motherfucker. Um, what else? But yeah, my soul tribe, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is, gang. I love y'all. Y'all stay prayed up. Keep God first. And y'all know what I say. God above all and the rest will truly fall. And that's on me, baby. I love y'all. Continue to stay prayed up. Keep God first in everything you do. Keep your sights set on the most high. And I promise you won't be led astray. And that's on me, baby. I love y'all. I'm going to say, true squad. Gang, gang. We out. Make sure y'all send me pictures of them rings and shit. Give me some motivation. Like, bitch, I'm next too. I'll see y'all later. <laughs>